All right, we're going. We're going. What is what is going on here? There was an altercation at the uh, at the front door between me and somebody else earlier. What what, what happened? What are you talking about? Uh, some dude in uh, he DM me. Who who is it? Uh, the super lemon haze guy, right? Okay. Justin, yeah, Justin's yeah. listening. Super lemon haze guy. Well, are there a couple of those guys or no? Yeah, it was he one the tall, guy. Is he the tall one? The annoying. They're all annoying. Tall, like muscular. Okay. Like, yeah, Eric. Eric. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah all yeah, right. Yeah. So he's DMing me. Um, I guess he DM me yesterday late. I was already in bed and I had already had the plan scheduled for today. The amount, the people who were coming in for the podcast, yes, which was not going to be everyone. Like we weren't going to do every potential candidate today either. Uh, no, we were going to do four. I believe right. we so he's we're claiming going. that you said anybody could show up. Well, anybody can who has a podcast until whatever the Sako cutoff date. We're going to pick four of them can, can vouch to do it. Cannot just show up to the studio to grab a microphone and pitch themselves. They can vouch to be considered for Sacco. I guess. Yeah, that's what I mean. So sure. he, he got the vibe that he could just show up. Okay, well, that's not exactly how it works. No, you right. want to hear the audio of what we exactly said, even though we tried to fight it up until this moment at the door? Sure. Right. Make your case starting now. And I think Friday here in the studio, we'll have a couple of the potential candidates in here, Dave. Wow. We'll see who makes the case between now and then. So there you go. Yeah, that, that's that's it. not that simple. Do you have this guy's phone number? Uh, I do. You want me to call him? Yeah, what the fuck? All right. Oh, look at Rob. Okay. All right, let me call him. <clears throat> In here. Seven, five, one, five. We really struggle with these phones, Dave. Oh, well, maybe it takes... No. Yeah. Well, we could have, I mean, I didn't know you want to do this altercation, so hang on. We just call the guy. I know, but his number's not popping up on my FaceTime thing right now. Hold on. Did you not have it? Uh, he literally just gave it to me. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. then call him. All right, well, let me set it up on a different service. Yeah. Oh, I'll just look at the last page of Justin's request for promotion to salary. He's oh, I was going to ask what that was on your desk, actually. He's going to be disappointed, I think. What's this guy's name? His name is Eric. Okay. Was it, was it physical? No, it was just loud. Was he screaming at you? Yeah, sorry for the delay there. Uh, there wasn't screaming. It was just like us going back and forth, back and forth. Eric, you there? Hello. Eric. Hey, what, what, what are, you, are you a fucking idiot or something? What are you yelling at my... Like, what, what is wrong with you? Wait a minute. Yelling? Fucking Dave was calling me an asshole and a dick. And I was just, all I was saying was, hey, message was clear to me. It was also clear to like 20, 30 I don't, I don't care. I don't care about anybody else. I don't care about Dave. Hey, 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 shut up. Hey. Shut, shut up, stupid. Shut up. I laid it out. Uh, we picked four and we're not done. I said we're not done. It's going to take a while. We're not, but the thing's in August. Yeah, so the message was to me. Was, okay, okay, that, okay, okay. That's, but, okay, but that wasn't, that, that wasn't, that wasn't the message. I'm here. I'm here. I'm standing outside the studio. Well, leave. Uh, leave. Said, you can I'm, leave now. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to leave. I'm going to sit out here. Even if I don't get in, I'm just going to watch the live stream right outside the door. And I'm going to say, I'm going to see all the people that are coming to the door. And I'm, I, I know I can measure up to everybody anyway. That okay. has nothing to do with why you're here. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't. Do you, do you understand? No, you were, you were an Dave, asshole. Dave, shut up for a second. We, we laid it out. No, there was, you, there was no. Shut up. Shut up. You were being a prick. I saw the texts. This is how it works. We're doing it. You know, we're going to do it more times than once between now and Sako. Okay. There was, there was no mess. All right. No forget it. You're out. You're out. You're out. Goodbye. You're out. You're out. You're out. I have no time for cunts. He's out. I tried. He's out. He's out. Yeah, I didn't like sharing the DM. I thought I was respectful. I said you could even get another shot, even though he was an asshole. So, you know, it is what it is. Hey, no page for being, uh, being f so was he screaming at you? No, I mean, it wasn't really screaming. It was a conversation back and forth, but he was clearly upset and clearly felt that, you know, he could just show up and walk in and talk to Kirk Minahan. What the fuck, man? It's yeah. not, you know, it's just, it's, uh, these people are so entitled. So you're learning already, Dave. See, we can, you hate these, you hate the, you hate the audience. Well, I don't hate the audience. I actually, I mean, what's wrong with calling someone a dick bag if they're a dick bag? I don't have a problem with it. All right, thank you. All right, so we're gonna have these guys come in a little bit. Yeah. All right, not yeah. right now. Yeah. What, what do you guys? What do you talk? What do you I think he wants. To, do you want to go in? What's up? Just I go in. Just, there's a bad echo. I'm trying to oh, on me. It's you? probably just the stream. It's just the streaming. Okay, yeah, cool. I'll fix it. Yeah. Who wants to go in? Justin wants to come in. I think. What's up? Why? 
I don't know. I so uh, we just had to put in a new camera. So something just affected the streaming. We're good. What are we talking about here? He was hearing something from me. I fixed it just now, and I just got alerted. So why does he want to come in the room then? No, I thought that's what he was signaling, but he was really saying fix this. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking at Justin's proposal here. Did you read it, Dave? I have not seen it. He just gave it to you. <clears throat> All right. Dear Kirk Minahan. I'd like to propose a full-time position with the Kirk Minahan Show as the associate producer slash live event coordinator. Adding a full-time associate producer to the Kirk Minahan Show would directly benefit the show by taking handling of live show duties and most social media clippings from producer Dave Colnane's plate, giving him more time to focus on producing content for the main show. <laughs> can we stop for a second? Yeah, we can stop in every life. Uh, what about the fact that you just have that and I don't? And I'm not one of those types of people, but don't you think that would print off two copies and I should have one? Um, I, 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 yeah. Oh, there we go. He gave you a copy. Thank you. Thank See? you, Justin. See? Good See? smart play. Never mind. See? Back to you. And while season two of the case is being made, I would work with Kirk Minahan on producing it by, by myself if needed. That is not in any way needed or desired, just to be clear. <laughs> while Dave spends his time and focus on KMS, nor is Dave part of the case, by the way. Also, is that K confirmed? Yes. Really? Yes. Because you've hired somebody to handle that? No, I don't want you to do it. Why? I mean, I don't know. You told me that was a conversation we could have. We haven't even gotten to that point. We just had it. I'd like to have more of that conversation. Okay. What if it's something I want to explore and I can, you know, just like you had to broaden your horizons. What and if that's, I... And that's more right there. And the answer is no. So okay. we, we had right. a long conversation about it. All right, I'll move on. What horizons do you want to expand? Oh, I think it's cool to try something new so like try that. try something just like new. You did. I tried it. So try something new on your own. On my own? Yes. Okay. Go solve a murder. All right. I couldn't. Go do it. What about short form stories about certain murders? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. You want to produce those? Yeah. They're yours. All right. Okay. Uh, also, if KMS or the case ever needed a representative at Barstool HQ on short notice, I would be available to travel and represent the show whenever called upon. Why? What? what, and what why would that be needed? I, I don't know. You know, they could call us. We could have those. Yeah. Have Justin come in here, man. Yeah, go in there. Go in there. Okay. Yeah. He's stressing out, I think. Are people showing up? Is Who that cares? Guys in here. Just talk. Oh, all right. Well, Go in there. What are you bitching I think, he's about? Say, I think he's saying the guy who we called out is in the office right now. Why? I don't know. You want me to kick him out? Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll, call, we'll call the police. I mean, I Here, Justin, you you take the mic. I'll talk to him. You take the mic over here. Well, oh yeah, you got one. That's good. Yeah, yeah well, hey, that's good. That's what it's here for. Yeah, Taser Pulse Plus. Well, he's what a strange wrong, one. What is, honestly, what's wrong with people? I don't know. I don't know. We don't want you to do that. This is this is why I don't. You know, this is why you don't get things. Yeah. You're going to date uh, the, the just put his life on the line for me. So that's I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that. Look. That's not a good look on either of us, right there. Who? I think one. Like that's why I went to try to go take that situation. Justin, Justin should come in. Yeah, get in there. Get on the mic. He's stressed out right now. Okay. What what happened? Talk to the mic. Hold on. Hold on. So Justin was going back and forth. Did he leave? He's left. The doors locked. Okay. There's other people who are coming in though. Uh, everyone else is in. Okay. There's a chance he's going to kill one of these, kill somebody. Yep. Can't oh. be me. Yep. Nope. Okay. You're not getting killed. Okay. It's going to, I mean, the guy just put his life on the line for me and I'm going to shit all over his Yeah, proposal. that's, that's is, sad. Is, that is, is not a good is, look. <laughs> it's not a good look. Yeah, what can you do? Um, but what about, I mean, I did too, by the way. What? I mean, my altercation was more extreme than that. I don't think so, was it? They were about the same. Oh, uh, okay. Right. What, what did he want the second time, he, this guy? He wanted to give Cullen in weed. Okay, I don't I don't. I have asthma. Get out of here. You don't do drugs? No. Oh, I thought you were. I thought you did. No, my eyes are weird. Okay, there you go. I'll be available to travel and represent the show whenever called upon. My duties as associate producer would be live clipping the show to draw more viewers to the YouTube show, growing the Kirk Minahan YouTube show, okay. schedule and coordinate the live events, okay? Plan minute fan events once a month that work towards building fan interaction and merchandise opportunities? Yeah. I think that would be uh, kind of like a, so a section 10 couple weeks ago they had like a live stream mm -hmm. of a red sox game i went and checked that out mm -hmm. and uh, i think that could be something 
we do in the future, kind of like the Kowloon event was just, it's not you, it's not Dave, it's not anyone, it's just the Minute fans getting together okay, and uh, just growing the community. Act as backup producer to the show and stay ready to fill in for Dave Colony. So explain to me what stay ready means. That means if Dave called me this morning and said, hey, my wife is very sick, okay. I need to. But how are you staying ready? Are you just like. Are I'm you, just always ready. You're I'm always ready. Always ready. Okay. Dave just had a heart attack. He died. Yeah. Okay. That's so you're saying. No, that was quick. That's that part, was really so that's part of staying yeah. ready. So you'd not be, you would, you'd always be ready. Correct. Okay. Always. Be ready. Are, you, are you sleeping less now? Yes. In a good way. What do you mean? Like I'm not. Not getting sleep. I gotcha. Uh, being the fourth voice on the Kirk Minahan show. Okay. That's a bit. Uh, I, I know it's a bit of a stretch. Coordinate with, quote, sidekicks, end quote, to get them to and from the studio. That's just Mike, right? And Jared. Okay. I mean, you have to get Jared well, just to, to and from the studio. Well, just to talk to him about when to come in, when to come out. All right. Coordinate merch items to help with production of the case. Help another part of that. I have worked with the Kirk Minahan Show for over 18 months, providing help with producing content on YouTube, the Kirk Minahan Show, and live events. I am, therefore, familiar with the duties listed above. I don't think you need a therefore there. Okay. I'm just, I, I, you know, you, well, you, I don't know if you ever hear me talk about writing, but I stress economy of words. Yes. I am, therefore, familiar. Is that needed? No. No. I am familiar with the duties listed above and then provide examples for reference. My qualifications uh, for associate producer include was producer of the Kirk Minahan show. Get ready for this. Get ready for this, Dave. Let's see it. From May 14th, 2021 to June 11th, 2021. That's way longer than my radio.com run. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. About 30 times longer. Yeah. We, but you weren't the producer of all those shows, right? Well, like I, I mean, like when Rob was in studio producing, like I still had to upload it. Still had to make Did it I say shows. you were the producer of the Kirk Minahan show? During that time, I was producing. Did I say you were the producer? I wasn't the producer but well, you I, said you it says was the producer oh yeah that was a mistake i, I produced <laughs> okay. i should have said produced not the producer how about this coordinated the madawaska 2021 with help from travis and carano <laughs> and was able to secure food with less than a week's notice that's do, pretty impressive do you think that's the first time that's ever been on a uh resume go where go pitch? in the way go wherever the waiting yeah, room is please he, i don't want to look at you people wait, this. Yeah. please please god i don't want to how do you think, what do you think about this format so far in terms of like just reading it out like this? What, what are you feeling? What am I going to do? Do it privately? Well, you, you could have referenced my pitch. You asked me to do a pitch for this job. You, you know, my look versus his look. Yours was terrible. Oh, it wasn't. It was good. It was succinct. What pitch did you have for the show? What? Yeah, I, I put all the items on there. You when? Said, you said put something together for Eric and I, and I put I something never, I never looked at it. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. I was, you know. Got it. <clears throat> have traveled across the country for the benefit of the show. Yeah, that's something I did. Wait, across the country? Yeah. Like where? Florida, Miami. That's awesome. that's, that's fair. That is fair. Across the country that is like California. <laughs> oh, I'm, on the East Coast, maybe. That's a fair argument. Traveled across the country? I, I mean, I, I guess I should have said up and down. Understand the core values of the Kirk Minahan show. Yes. Oh, the core, the core values of the Kirk Minahan show are, you know, calling out media hypocrisy. It uh, is. Check. The value? Okay. Uh, you know, just stirring shit within the company? No. no? Okay. I don't know if that's a core value necessarily. Uh, oh, well, now, I, now I don't think I You know. don't understand it. Correct. Okay, good. And am able to stir the pot on Twitter, gaining more social media impressions and podcast downloads. So you think you're stirring the pot on Twitter has led to more podcast downloads? Uh, I think it leads to more eyes on the- Do you have any proof of that? Yes. You do? Ooh. Yes, on like the Twitter video. From, of the podcast downloads? Not on the podcast downloads. Okay, but you say, but, but you say more podcast downloads. Well, just the more eyes. But on, you don't have proof of that. I, I don't have the podcast download numbers. Okay, that's good. Go ahead. Uh, like saying? the Big Cat video that I live clipped last week and was going back and forth with him. Uh, that led to over 125,000 impressions on the Kirkman Hand Show page. And what does that, have, what does that do for me? It, it's just, you know. Gets more eyeballs on you, that. drives people to the drives people to the video. That's good. That's revenue. That's numbers. Love it. How do you know that? I know it. It was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> because Big Cat retweeted it, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, transcribing long, long phone calls. What was this? Uh, for the case. And st uh, staking out potential murders while not being afraid to ask direct questions. <laughs> While considering my qualifications and dedications, I mean, I mean, I can't hire this guy. Staking right? out potential murders. Well, he did. 
<laughs> well, I wouldn't say. Well, well. Well, I mean, I was also told that this man is a of no threat to anyone beforehand. By who? By Steve. Not by me. <laughs> well, considering my well, you also got. Didn't you also script the day initially? No, Steve told me he said get there at eight to nine p.m. and I said okay. Okay. And then he texted me the okay. next day and said. When considering my qualifications and dedication to the Kirk Minahan brand, oh, I, do I hate that? I believe I am more than qualified for a full time position with the show. What I'm asking for in terms of compensation, I don't want to, don't want to spoil you. you know, if, I won't broadcast if you don't want me to. You can. It's your show. Okay. Is fifty two thousand dollars a year? I think Justin's thinking a thousand dollars a week. That's pretty much what I was thinking. In salary, with this position driving traffic to increase podcast numbers, putting emphasis on merch live events and allowing Dave Colony to focus on product content for the main show of which he's, I don't know if that's good or bad. This job will more than pay for itself within a year. Ooh, I like that confidence. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if you move that <laughs> in front of the five, maybe. Uh, thank you for taking the time to review. Oh, you're welcome. This proposal for an associate producer position. I believe this role will allow me to put my skills and qualifications to use in order to benefit the show and improve fan interaction. I look forward to discussing the opportunity with you further. Sincerely, Justin Huntley Trudell. Trudell at barstoolsports.com. I will not give away his phone number. The last two numbers are 88. That's all I'm saying. Good oh, luck, that, oh. What? 88 means something bad. It does? Yeah, it's like internet slang for something not good. Okay, well, it's, it's the last two numbers are your phone Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. Well, people. What do, you, what do you want me to say? Uh, n nothing. It's just okay. What do you think, Dave? Sense. So, Justin has been insanely helpful to me during the transition. So he's been great to work with thus far, very helpful, doing everything that we've talked about for goals for the show. He's doing it all quickly. He's paying attention. I actually think a change in attitude has helped a little bit too. He used to have a little bit of an ego, I felt, as a listener. I'm just calling him out a little bit. I mean, he hated me for no fucking reason. Okay, well, it was no, I'm just saying. I, okay, no, I'm just stay, saying. Stay, stay focused. I'm okay. just saying. I don't care. And I think okay. now, as reading this, I'm seeing a guy who's all about the show. It's show first. There's no, there's no ego attached to this pitch. I don't think it's he's ever true. been himself uh, first, show second. I, uh, I don't know. I think there's a little, I don't know. I don't know. You would know better than anybody. As a, as a viewer, I just felt that. I don't okay. know. I'm just calling him up, but he's great now. I like the vibe. I like okay. the vibe. So send that on an email yes. to me and Eric Nardini. Okay. okay. All right. Good. good. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you. All right. Let's see what happens. You didn't want to call Erica like we did for Blind Mike back in the day or whatever? No, nah, I know. I yeah. know. No, okay. no, no, no. We're very busy today. Yeah. I, no, I got I, you. I don't, I don't know what we're doing exactly. but And you have, by the way, two hours. Thank you, Justin. You have uh, an hour 45, give or take, until uh, the soccer tickets are gone. That's true. So you go to, uh, I don't even know where you go. You go to Barstool Sports Store, right? Mm -hmm. You can find it there. If you go to the Kirkman and section of the Barstool Sports Store, it's the first thing you will see. And we will tweet it out again for you guys. Okay. Because you have till noon. Uh, probably, yeah, until we're, we're out of here. Uh, <clears throat> after talking to Justin, I thought of BetterHelp. Uh, this podcast is sponsored in part by BetterHelp Online Therapy. BetterHelp.com slash Kirk10. Listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Kirk10. Uh, you go, you talk to a therapist, you do it uh, uh, via video, phone, even live chat. You don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. I understand some people don't want to do that, which makes sense to me. Uh, much more affordable than in-person therapy. You can start communicating again with your therapist in under 48 hours. Uh, get some good unbiased feedback. Talk about what's bothering you. Make yourself feel better. And do it at a great price. Betterhelp.com slash Kirk10. Betterhelp.com slash Kirk10. Uh, thank you to betterhelp.com for uh, joining us this week. All right, so what, in your mind, what, how is this going to work? With the podcast, I think they're going to come in here. They're going to tell you a little bit about their podcast and what they do. Okay. And I think we have a mix of like one guy isn't even really affiliated with the Kirk Minahan show. His podcast is about something different. So why the hell are we having him here? Well, he's like a bit. They're all big Minah fans, but they yeah. produce content outside. I mean, they all do the same fucking shit on every other show. Well, I all like these podcasts, I assume, are dreadful, correct? Um, No, I wouldn't say that. Okay. I mean, yeah. they, they have to be. No, they're not. So they'll come in. They'll pitch themselves. Have you ever done a podcast on your own? I had one. You, you canceled did? it. Didn't you cancel Great Thinkers? Or did I stop it because I hated you? Was that, a, that wasn't a podcast, though, was it? Uh, I thought it was like a video. No, what was it YouTube? What would my podcast be about? I'm just asking you if you've oh. ever had a podcast. Oh, no, I've never had a direct. No, yeah, I did tell me what it's about. I'm asking if you've ever had one. Oh, well, you made it what? seem like I should do it as no, if it'd I, be a I good idea. Why, you know, you seem like you're a big podcast guy. Why don't you ever dip? You know, don't you do some hockey one or something? Uh, yeah, I do it with the Yandels. And yeah, yeah the, the Yandel brother. And, Keith and Randy? No. <laughs> It is uh, Brian Yandel. Sorry, not Keith Yandel. Keith Yandel is in the in the league. Why are you getting all 
nervous about because I'm always weirded out when you ask things outside of the show. So I'm just why like weirded out. I don't know. Why don't you take that spitting chicklets job? That so mystifies Jerry. Uh, because that was a video job, and I said that's not a role that I would do. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Okay. So okay. I can right. admit my flaws. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. So who who would you like to speak to first? I say we bring in. Let's get the energy uh, back from almost being murdered into a good zone. Why don't we bring Rob in here? All in the minute family. Fine. Yeah. Why not? What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Do the intro music or no? For, I was going to intro. I was going to play their little sample of their show. What do? You, what would our intro music be to this? How the hell do I know? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Is there walk up music to this stuff? But no thought into this. Well, I mean, I didn't know what you wanted to do. So did you see this guy going crazy or no? Yeah. His mic's got to be on, Dave. Yeah, I got it. What happened? Is this thing falling over? Just hold it. I'm going to hold it. There we go. What guy? The Lemon Hayes guy? Yes. Yeah, he was going nuts. I don't know. He wanted to come in here and give you weed. I don't, I don't want weed. I, don't <laughs> I do. I took it. I'm, did you? I'm, I'm, yeah, of course I did. So, you, so you'd like to... So are you, you're going to Sock anyway, I assume? Yes, I'm okay. definitely going to You want to do your show with uh, uh, Tim there? Uh, well, here's the thing. I am actually representing... Two shows today. This, uh, is, this is what I'm talking about. This is already a violation. Well, what do well, you th- I'm representing Craig because Craig couldn't come in. And he wants to do his very good show. Okay. I want to see him get a very good sharp knife and put it in his <laughs> fucking stomach. <laughs> Might help him. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. I'd love to see him die. Um, so, yeah. So, he wants to do his show, but he doesn't want to ask because he said he's okay. there. He, he's not comfortable with that. Okay. So, he well, said. Well, then why, why would. But I don't know. The answer is no. I, I, well, I'm just saying. He said if you're, if you're willing to Damn, have. Damn, am I. <laughs> The guy will come in and ask himself. Well, I, 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 then grant him. That's ridiculous. I don't know. I mean, well, he's he, doing it with Mike too. That was Mike's part of the package as well for his show. Well, Mike's gonna do our show that night. I, I'm just he's not gonna I, do some warm up podcast. I'm relaying the that. message here. That's all I'm doing. I'm the message man. I mean, what? why can't he just come? I mean, this is the first of. We have like a month and a half why till Sacco. I don't want to. I don't want to see. I mean, I'd rather not see him. But I mean, I don't know. That that that's a. You can't hear Dave. No. Hello. Can you hear me? No. Well, you got to plug in your microphone unless it came out. We can hear me though. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. That's weird. There we go. There oh, we you can hear Dave. Now I can. Hear no, him. he could hear you like in the room. talking. Yeah, correct. Idiot. You gotta plug those in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. So that's a no, obviously, for Craig. So uh, don't, don't why don't you worry about yourself? Craig, I, Craig stinks. I'm Forget a man, him. I'm a man of the people. Okay. He sucks. So he's a no. Okay. He's a no. Okay. Right. And then for, I mean, unless he comes and asks, I, you know, that doesn't doesn't work that way. Well, I'm his new producer. What? I'm his new producer on Craig's show. Did you know that? No. July, why would you? I don't know even know Craig has a show. What, yeah. Why are you like? Why are you producing other people's shows? What do you? you I don't have a show. I do. I do. We do like once a once every three months. What I, you do like, a show? Yeah. All right, why so, are you here? Because I don't know. Tim set me <laughs> what up. What the fuck? fuck? <laughs> Tim set me up. <laughs> so Tim reached out to you, correct? Yes. And said, "Can we come on?" So that was Tim's thing. Well, I think he said he wanted to do a, his show, right? The one you guys do there. Yes. Which and, I, is, is a good show. And then Tim. And then Tim messaged me last night at midnight and told me he wasn't going to come and he fucked me so, okay, so there's no purpose for you being here uh well craig's show okay that's one. a that's a no okay and uh, then, you, but you're just, you didn't tell me you're a representative of the show you're a producer of the i'm show. A, a producer when who was, was the craig. old producer of the show craig he was producer so why can't he talent. produce the show i don't he's know. not he's not talent that, <laughs> that's a bad sign i like craig that's a bad sign if he can't host and produce the show i, like, think, he, I think he's throwing me a bone he wants me to try to get better on the board for what? I don't know. For You're like my age, are you? Now, why are you done? I just no, asked you. How old are you? 39. So what are you going to do? I don't know. It's all... You it's already like, have a job, right? I'm not getting paid for anything either. That's Nothing. what I'm saying. So, so why do you need to get better on the board for what? I don't know. Life. What just do you do for a job? A food. I sell fries. You sell, you sell french fries, right? right? Yeah. Tough. It's Which am I having? I, this part of my July, no soda, no fries, no nothing. Nice. Nothing clean. I'm going to lose 25 pounds yep. in July. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of necessary. Wow, it's that necessary. It's, uh, I mean, those pictures were those pictures were damning. <laughs> it's weird though. Some look okay. It's the angle. It's the angle. Some look yeah. okay and some yeah. don't. Speaking yeah. of angle, I'm trying to Mike yesterday. Mike on Wednesday was looking rough. So I'm yeah, trying. I like not having, to. I like having Mike in there. Really. <laughs> I, feel I tried to adjust <laughs> the ran, camera today for him. Six miles this morning. Did you really? Yes. Oh wow, you look good. Yeah, Jeez. sure. Get it, Dave. Me too. Six miles. Nice, run, nice, nice running morning too. It was perfect. First yeah. one in a while. Um. All right. All right, so so I don't understand why you well why for Craig that was that was the first one no no but I don't understand why you're doing this like with your life I don't know either you have kids you have young kids I know that's you're, why and you're, I mean, and you're yeah. working the board for Craig's not very <laughs> what's it called well you have a very good show but you have to you have to have a passion outside of work don't right. you so he's doing some stuff that he's passionate about it's a hobby. I guess maybe he wants to do media uh, you know maybe oh I know he does yeah. trust me okay yeah, trust yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I forget what that was but oh that was the worst conversation I've ever had in my life <laughs> till now where was that. <laughs> Up in VFW. Oh, Jesus. 
There were people having flashbacks of Vietnam War listening to Rob talk. They didn't even fight there. It's like 28 year old. All right. So that's it. So uh, I, mean, I, I, I like right. Craig. Yeah. Who I think is going to get Jerry's job. Why? Wow. What's your issue with Craig? Why? No, I just, why is. Last man standing, I think. Why isn't Carano doing it? I thought he wanted to build a business. Oh, that's true. I don't know that. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you're right. I don't know that. <laughs> Shut the No, I really don't. Yeah, right. I actually don't. I would tell you. I would, you think I would go in the air and not tell you? I, 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 there was a lot bleeped out of Tom yeah. Shattuck's podcast last night, Not by night me. Too. Ask me what it was. I'll say it. All right. That no, was a listen. great. That was great. I love that podcast yesterday with Shattuck. You did. That was good. Oh, was thank fun. you. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. What did I say? Oh, I said Greg Hill was such a... It's a Lou Maroney story with Greg Hill or oh, something? Oh, yeah. So what happened was Greg... Lou was making fun of Greg Hill. Yep. A lot like on the air and Greg Hill went to management and complained and management went to Lou and told him to stop. Oh, okay. You've said that before. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah Jerry gets all okay. nervous yeah, yeah. and like, I'll cause Shattuck's on my thing is if Shattuck has a job now at intercom or Odyssey, whatever you want to call it. Yep. And he invites Kirk Minahan on his, what do you think I'm going to do? Like that's a, that's his problem. Not yeah, my yeah. problem. Yep. I'm not going to go in there and censor myself. So you call Jerry a pussy for going on there and not saying something. No, I call Greg Hill a pussy oh. for complaining. Oh, I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Jerry is a pussy, yeah, but that's true. a different. That we, we know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he seemed upset with me on that podcast. He's upset with you. I can Why? confirm that. Why? Because I talk shit here and said truthful things well, that I mean, he should have can, my back. That's you all. can work it out with him. I don't all want. Right. I don't want to see you guys mad at each other. Okay. All right. I'm not looking to play you guys against <laughs> each other. God knows. All right. All right. So the second one is you and Tim. Yeah, second one is me and Tim. And is that more of a? Uh, it's not gonna be hard to do live. Aren't you guys doing yes. a lot of shit? Yes, it is. It's 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 gonna be fucking impossible. All right. So you don't want to do it then. Tim, it's all Tim. Tim fucked me. Tim threw me out of the bus. He was going to be the pitch guy. Yeah, your guy. show is like a digital version of Saturday Night Live. So Correct. you're trying to do, Correct. if you had to do that in person, because you have to be authentic to the show. So, so we what, had, are you, what are you here for? Because I don't know. He wanted to hang out. I That's did. Fine. I wanted yeah. to oh. say hi to yeah. Dave. Say great. Hi to Craig, yeah, it's great. You want to no, do lunch no. after? You want to do lunch after the show? Right, after, right next door. All right, good. Uh, no, you guys are doing lunch after the show again? Well, it's just a classy thing to do if you came all the way here. Yep. Oh, okay. from, from, before. From fucking Woburn? Wait. Yeah, oh, is he a woman? I didn't know who you were. Oh, okay. Lowell. Oh, Lowell. Bad, so Lowell. 40 right. minutes. Okay. Before, can I do something real quick? I, when we were in Madawaska. Real quick. Real quick. When we were in Madawaska, I went to lunch with Justin and Mike. Okay. Then okay. during the live show, Mike, when you asked him, oh, did you go to lunch? He says, yeah, I went to lunch with Justin. Just leaves me out. No other person. Like if there was three people at a lunch, you would think you would do that. Do then, you know why? Do you know why? And then a week later, I realized I paid for the fucking lunch. Because he was embarrassed to be lunch with you. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> why? I wouldn't why? say it. I wouldn't That's say it. That's fucking ridiculous. You legitimately just came here to shoot this shit. Like you didn't come here to pitch yeah, this podcast. Yeah, this is ridiculous. This is like, like, why the fuck well, are we talking about your lunch? Bring the psycho in here. At least, yeah, yeah. The yeah. psycho at least is entertaining. Yeah, well, at, least he's got, at least he's got a fucking, wants to do the show. I'm leaving with a fucking eighth of weed in my pocket. That's all I fucking, I'm ready to go on vacation. Was that for me? That was for me though, right? you, but I Taking it. All right, good. so you, so then you don't even want. Okay, so so so, so over two, over two. So well, we had ideas. So we were gonna do a mud pit. We were gonna do like a mud thing. Uh, we were gonna do like a food eating contest. But no one's gonna do that before a show because who wants to get sick and throw up before before a fucking show? T.J. Right? Hubbard. That's it. He said no already. They all okay. said no. Uh, we we're gonna do you know blind owl blogs. We we're gonna read that live and then oh wow, shock Jeez, up, shock, shock up my fucking I'm, head. Wow. I'm sorry, <laughs> and shoot I'm myself sorry. in the fucking I'm sorry, head. I'm sorry, we're, I'm sorry, we have to turn this down. <laughs> all right, so it sounds like. The first one's a no because Craig's not here. And the second one, you don't want to do. And this is the real reason why I want to do it is because we want to, all in the minute family, better than it used to be with Gig and Tony. We want to do a sponsored. I can't even imagine how exciting that collaboration we, would be. We want a sponsored fan, like font, sponsored fan stuff. We want to do a beer pong tournament. We want. I know it's not up to you, but the fans want to have a good time. You want to, want to know the truth? You know truth? what the thing with Rob is? And this I is want, I, I, yeah, tell me the truth. <laughs> no. Go ahead. No, one second, Dave. Rob's going to tell us the truth. Okay. Yeah, he's been I'll lying tell you the, the truth. whole time. I'll Go tell ahead. you the truth. No one, I, those guys, all great guys in there. I, no one wants to listen to me talk. That's for fucking sure. No, no one wants to listen to anybody in there. They're all great. Love them all. No one wants to listen to fucking Craig. No one wants to listen to Tim. No one wants to listen to anybody. Sure. Music and booze. Fun. That's it. That's yep. all anybody wants. I was mean, it, what does that have to do with? I'm confused. I'm about just mud saying. Pit. I'm just no, because that's what we were gonna do, but that's not happening. Seems that's like that's be very difficult to pull off. Well, we couldn't find women to do it. I mean, who the fuck's well, true? I we tried. All right. Oh, well, I appreciate the effort. Thank you. Yes. Can we give Rob something? Because he's clearly botched this like entirely. No we're botching what? Give him what? No. I, you want my? Uh, can I pitch you now? Oh, there you go. I want to give Rob the Minahan. What is it? Kirk Minahan Network. KMN. What are you calling it? I want to give him the network. No. Like I want, no, I want him to be like the guy, the manager of the oh, oh like the manager of it? like he, no. like he takes it. Why? <laughs> because I don't want him to have it. Because he wants it. I don't want it. I okay, he doesn't want it then. Uh, now I want it. Now I fucking want it. Will it make you it. happy? Uh, 
I would say yes. You're going to say no. You're going to say no. I don't want to make him happy. I'm going to say no. Dave, what are you doing? What? You're in charge of that. Well, that's what I was... It's not that I don't want to have it it's just that like he's so passionate about yeah, it do you do anything Justin's talking about taking all this off your plate you're like, what the fuck do you do a shitload of sound we're coming out with your show shitty audio fucking, like, what, what do well, you do stuff, you just walk into a studio we don't mm -hmm. test most people like talk and do shit before the show starts <laughs> well, I'm not interested in that okay well I'm just yeah. telling you okay I mean, so that's 0 for 2, right? In those pitches? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, well, what was, the, what was the second pitch? Was, I, I you, and, you and Tim. He did, yeah, he, he fucked me. It's a brain okay, we'll blame, uh, we'll blame him. All right. All right, so we want to take we want to take hold of the fan experience at Saco. That's what we want. Is that what does like, that mean? Like, ha make sure people are having fun out there. Like, you fucking, go ask them? Yeah, I'll fucking walk around. You're having fun? kind of like that. Like, directors of yes. fan yes. engagement. You're the kind of guy when you, you like, the fun would be if you just stayed away from them. No, it wouldn't. Yes, they, it people, would. The people love it. The people love it. He's right. Do you think people weren't having fun last year? Uh, I know I wasn't, probably. but they, I think they were having a good time. Yeah, I guess. So what are you going to do as the ambassador of fun? I'm going to, well, we're going to set up the beer pong tournament. We're going to set up the flip okay. cup tournament. We're going to, okay. well, can't you just do that? Yeah, I guess. But I mean, if it'd be nice of a little endorsement. Here, and by I mean, the way, I mean, tickets on sale until noon. This already sounds fun to me. So people <laughs> got to <laughs> jump. We need, can. I mean, we need 16 teams for the beer pong. We need what? Table, 16 teams. Six, so who's, so who's going to bring the table? Me. I'll okay. do tables. I'll do, I'll do the cups. I'll do the balls. Sounds Everything great. but the booze. Sounds great. And they get a trophy and a t-shirt at the end. Fantastic. Thank you. I endorse it. Perfect. It sounds awful. <laughs> it's right. to you. All right. You? Goodbye. All right. We'll get the next one. All right. Thank you very much. Yes. David, thank, thank you. you. Thank All right. you. Appreciate it. Rob, you're the best. I mean, best of what? what the He's just a nice guy. He's like a really nice guy. He is, but that yeah. was, I mean, what was the plan? Oh, there was that? nothing. Nothing came out of that. Yeah. Nothing. You know, no day, no day is better than today, by the way, to talk about Simply Safe. Wouldn't yeah. you agree? <sighs> Jesus, we need it. Can we put it here? Or they should. Assist? Jesus. Yeah. You seem a little rattled. I just, I mean, that was a weird experience today. This didn't happen with the Jerry Callahan podcast? No, it didn't happen to the Jerry hardcore Callahan. liberals coming in to, um, to kill us? No. Oh, my God. Simplysafe.com. Uh, two minutes to customize a system on their website. And then you set up yourself, which we're going to do here. We should do here, by the way. By the yeah. way, is my, uh, I hate the guy who won the golden ticket. Dale? Yeah. He's yeah, he's not a bad guy. Douche. But I, part of my thing was I was supposed to uh, set up the Simply Safe at this house. I will not because I hate him. Should I take that? You want me to take that for you? Sure. That's okay. fine. All right. Oh, Christ. Holy shit. This. All right. Well, yeah. Share that mic well, if you yeah, can. Yeah, one second. Yeah. We're, we're doing Simply oh, Safe. Oh, so he's got Simplysafe.com uh, slash Kirk. Today, the customizer system. These guys look pretty tough, Dave. They yeah, don't they seem got, like they're scared well, of anything. I was going to say, they got muscle there. I kind of like it. <laughs> Simplysafe.com slash Kirk. Simplysafe.com slash Kirk. Uh, free security camera. And how long is the uh, risk free trial? Uh, three years. 60 days, stupid. Yep, that's what, that was the next one. 60 days. Simplysafe.com slash Kirk. Simplysafe.com slash Kirk. Do it today. Who are these guys? Uh, this is our friend Mick who called us out the other day. You remember that one? I do not. Oh, okay. You don't? Oh, All this right. is the uh, average guys. These are the average guys. We'll, yes. we'll play it back. Oh, this guy is hated, huh? He said that we have been pulled <laughs> off the main stage of the Sacco Drive-In Movie Theater Podcast Marathon. The Kirk Minahan Sacco Drive-In Movie Theater Podcast Marathon. We have been pulled off the main stage. Uh, okay, I'm already annoyed. You're already okay. done with it? Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. You didn't even get to the line. Uh, yes, too much. So, uh, you guys must understand why I did that, right? Yes. Okay. Very, uh, very cringy video, I'll admit it. Oh, so now you're here and you're just gonna... No, I mean, I, I got some attention to the show. I have a podcast what going. That, else? What else are we supposed to do? Can, you can, can, I, mean? I, I don't want him to talk. Yeah, can the other guy yeah. shut yeah. up, Can you please? just tell him to yeah, shut yeah, the yeah, fuck I mean, up? Or leave. I, I don't care either way. <laughs> this is the muscle. Come on. We're a part... This is the other part of the podcast? Where were you an hour ago, for Christ's sake? No shit. All right, so make your pitch then. Go ahead. Well, listen, I mean, you got a bunch of lethargic slugs in this community. No question. We cannot deny that. And I think you could have a little bit of youth to your audience. I, How I, old are you guys? I'm 26. What are you, 28? 28. 28. 28. Okay. Yeah. Well, you've made quite a life for yourself, huh? 28. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Parents are proud. Jesus. Yeah. Parents are real proud. Where do you guys live? Uh, Cape Cod, Yarmouth, Mass. Okay. Have I met you guys before? No. You've never been to any live shows or anything? Nope. Uh, a couple of my relatives have, but no. Not are, me. You not, are you a fan of the show? Or? Come on. I've been listening to you since I've had my license. Okay. All right. <laughs> Great. Okay. I'm serious. That's, I, that, that's I, about 10 years. I, I believe you. All right. Okay. So uh, the pitch is, so you, we have an old lethargic audience. Well, I mean, I feel like it's the same thing. Every other wrap-up show that you do or everything a part of this world is a basically a watered down Kirk Minahan show. What has happened that day? Like I know everybody's calling me a Kirk knockoff. I know everybody's saying that, but well, like, would you say you were influenced by me? For sure. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. A absolutely. I wouldn't deny that at all. You, I, we did this on the podcast the other day, my top 10 podcasters. You were number one. Oh, wow. Who was yeah. the rest of the list? Uh, we had like Rogan. I had a couple of Fran you know, Francis Ellis. We had him on the show. He was, I one know of Francis. Our, yeah. We, he was actually our pilot episode on uh, beyond average and okay. he came in I mean, he didn't come in. It was over remote, but 
it was right before the pandemic. And yeah, I mean, it was that kind of helped launch the whole project, I guess. Oh, did it ever. <laughs> yeah, I, fucking, I pitched uh, Francis for that. the sidekick, didn't I? You didn't respond to that one. I don't remember that. Yeah, I texted you that. I just thought he would be a good guy. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. I know. I like Francis. Yeah. So, okay. So uh, you guys want one of the spots. Yeah, for sure. I mean, well, you said that we could have one if we're being totally honest. Okay. And then I took it away. Yeah. Well, right. That's how it works. My yeah. show. You can do that on your Beyond Average podcast. Sure. You're going to come on? Uh, sure. I'll yeah. go on there. Why not? Fair. At some point. That, why is it fair? Well, because we're doing so much for you right now. We're coming in and making a fool out of ourselves. I mean, okay. we're all I, don't like, I don't like the confidence. Well, like, it's, I, it's, it's not like it's not real. Like, yes. Why is it not real? Because so, you know, you're not doing anything for me. No, well, you did. Like, oh, if you did, if you didn't exist, people would be listening to this. They'd be for the sure. same. So what are you doing for me? I'm, I mean, we're making a fool of it ourselves for one. We well, gotta, sure. You're doing that for yourselves, for your podcast, which is fine. Beyond average podcast. Go listen to go. it. There Give it a shot. Craig not even coming in. Like uh, Dave, oh, Dave just, shoot, uh, fucking shoot this ass! Yeah, yeah. Can you give me that thing? The, oh, I hate the this taser. fucking guy. Yeah. He's got a great point. It looks though. good though. The other contestants I can't hear him. Though stupid, it's, but, he's, he's on, I'm on the mic. The other contestants can't even show up. The guy said on I Twitter. Oh, the guy said on Twitter that he's got bills to pay. He took work off today. I'm going into bar ten later. Who tonight. said that? Craig. I would give anything for you guys to have bills to pay and not be here. I have bills to pay. We have <laughs> bills, have bills to, pay. to pay. What's your job? Nor what's your normal job? I bartend. Your bartender. What's mm -hmm. the other guy's job? He uh, runs an HVAC company. Okay, he's got a family business. Right. Ooh. So, uh, uh, but I think that's a fair point, though, Dave. They showed up. They're dressed up. They yep. have a little attitude. I'm like Craig yep. or Tim Riggles or these guys. <laughs> like these guys showed up. There's something about the fat and happy crowd and the young guys. Yep. The young and guys people hate up. them. Yeah. Everybody's hating me on Twitter. I'm, I'm not sure why. Everybody's saying that I'm a knockoff. Because you're a fucking, because you're an annoying fucking But why? But face. it's a 45 second clip. And no, everybody's you're, saying you're I'm just, a knockoff Kirk just, Minahan. You're just annoying. You're just annoying. Yeah, that's fine. But like. That's why everyone hates yesterday. you. You're, okay. you can, you're, you're, you're an annoying person. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I don't mind that. that. That's no. what, I, I, I don't mind that. But I'm just annoying. saying that's, that's, that's what you are. I would look at that as a positive quality for podcasting. I, I don't know. I don't listen to your podcast. Oh, I think, you, ahead, I think you're going to have Hey, yes, to. yesterday. <laughs> uh, I, it was just one of the worst. Like, that is such a Did you apply idea. for the job? For day yeah, job? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You we talked shit, about us on the air. And we shit yeah. on your show or something, right? Oh, no, it was... Yeah. I don't think you shit on us. You had no? a pretty good thing going. Yeah, well, I thought it was great. You were, was like, we you were like, I'm, he's the wacky guy. I'm the straight lace. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Why did you get the the microphone today? We, I mean, just because I was sending the DMs, I, I told it's Dave. We were, yeah, I see what's happening here. It's a power play. What do you mean? Yeah, there's a little power play going on. I a little just ego attached to you. Who's we don't the like alpha? Who's the here. alpha of the show? It can't be 50 50. I mean, Christian owns the house that we record the podcast in. Does that have any count? I mean, I guess like you could say so. like standard wise, like I host the show, but Christian, I think we. 50 so you're going to get like, you're going to get like 45 minutes in soccer. Let's just say yeah. 40, 45 minutes. What are you going to do? I mean, we could do a bunch of different. I, do you I know you can. To, well, but do, do you want I don't us to care. do things in the Kirk Minahan world, or would do you whatever, rather do whatever you want? I'm you just asking. shit all over the Kirk Minahan world. You said every show is. I, see, sucky. I like that. That's yeah, what they I, should be doing. But I, is I, it I not true? I want, to, I want him to own it. Like own it. You yeah. don't want to do it. Don't, so but here's, the thing. Here's, here's the thing. If I just asked him what he wanted to do. Here's the thing. You said that the audience is lethargic and they suck and all that, right? Most of them. So you can't go there at Sako then and be the guy who takes the pictures with everyone, and then you're everybody's buddy because you get a little bit of love. That's me. If you're on that, that's a colony move. That's the who's the idiot in Madawaska who he, he's the hates the, hates the show he threatens oh, to kill sneakers. me that's my yeah. body sneakers you yeah. can't be a pussy like that yeah if you're gonna be that guy you can't go there and I see pictures of you with TJ Hubbard and Steve from Providence no you gotta go on there no 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 you gotta go on there and be if this is who you truly are right HVAC fucking guy <laughs> love that guy you gotta be on there and be like fuck you fuck you fuck you fuck you I, I, it, as long as everybody's in on it, you know what I mean? Like no, no, oh. no, 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 oh. no. What are you? 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 What are but this is not some pretend thing. You either hate them or you don't. I guess like, I would say I, I, I hate feeling, them. I got a feeling this guy was in there playing monkey dick. Oh, with all he these loves those fans. guys. Yeah, yeah right? he loves Everybody's those guys. cool in there. Right? But yeah. like I just see, said. see, see, this is what happens. And when he goes on at Sako at whatever, three o'clock, he'll be like, you know, I want to hate these guys, but I just can't. No. Yeah. I just can't. So you like, can't. so you love Kirk. You love Kirk's show, but you hate everything about his fans. No, is I disagree. Fair? No, yeah. no, that's not fair at all. No, it's not fair at all. I would say 5% of them are like the, the vocal minority. They're very, just ridiculous. Like that guy, Tony from Nebraska, he took it to okay, a different we, level. Okay, we like, don't need to oh, Tony. Spend too right, much yeah. on Tony. I don't yeah. know that is. Tony. Come on. All right. I think these guys are fucking annoying. I hate them. They fucking, their podcast sucks, clearly. 
But you know what, He Dave? said yes yesterday. I say yes today. Oh, I love it. Oh, let's go. Ready? Yeah, that's good. All right. All right. Have, right. You have that ready? That's Through the hard. first round, baby. Let's it. go. Yeah. All right. The first podcast I am sending through to Saco Maine. Wow. Is Christian and Lance, beyond, <laughs> what's your name? Mick. Mick. The Beyond Average Podcast Let's is go. a yes. That's I will I'm not back off. 100% they're oh, yeah. in for socks. 100%. 100%. That's big time. All right. I love Fucking it. Go. Now, you guys have, here's the thing, though. You have to have lunch with Colin after this. No, 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 Yeah, you want Fair? to do that? No. Yeah, I no. think that's, do you no, think that's no. reasonable, Dave? No, you can do I that. think that's reasonable. <laughs> but you want lunch with Rob? Uh, yeah, but Rob's like a, re- he's like a normal guy. These guys are, what are you talking These guys are wild cards. I don't know Rob's a normal guy? I mean, he has I drove from Madawaska to fucking, you know. On like a weeknight, too. He strange fucked up move, the whole by thing, that, yeah. by the way. Wait, he, he, which we didn't even get into. Get out of here. You're done. You got oh, through. You're go, in. Go, 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 go. Don't Goodbye. ruin it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. Congratulations. Get Rob back in here real quick. <laughs> I kind of like that guy now. I knew that would happen, didn't you? Of course, yeah. Dave. Yeah, oh, okay. I've done this a few times. Okay. I don't hate people. Uh, I'm wearing my Allbirds right now. Allbirds.com. Allbirds.com. Uh, great shoes. Keep it light and breezy. Once I ask something, Rob, one second. Uh, uh, tree runner uh, shoes are carbon neutral. Uh, uh, they purchase carbon offsets and uh, using natural materials. Certified as a public benefit corporation made from sustainable natural minerals and materials that feel light in your feet and are better for the planet. Here they are again, the tree runners. Like I'm wearing them right now. Breathable, machine washable, and made with responsibly uh, sourced tree fiber. Simple and versatile design. Go to allbirds.com, allbirds.com, and do that today, please. Our great friends at Allbirds. I mean, so you fucked up the Madawaska thing, right? How? Well, how did I fuck it up? You, what's his face buried you over this? Who? Who the hell was it? Uh, oh, uh, Rick. Oh, Rick. Okay. Rick buried me. Yes. He wasn't even at the fucking meeting. What is the fuck does he know? Now, when I talked to him on the phone when he, when he was doing his apology thing, he said the guy showed up there. Yeah. And made the speech or whatever, right? Yeah. Or no, you or you didn't make the speech. No, no, not really. I That's mean, what he said. He was like, if he got up and spoke for you, this thing went. I'm just telling you, the guy Rick buried you. I'm just telling you. I mean, I was never. I I was a proponent of Rick from the very beginning. So I it, I'm his, I was his best friend up there. I don't know what the fuck he's talking. So what about. did you do when you drove up there then? Nothing. I went. So into why did you drive? Do you do anything ever? <laughs> no. He's just getting away from the family. He's getting me? away no. from the family. No, That's I don't smart. do anything. I thought again. I thought it was going to be, uh, hello, yeah, or they wanted the street named after you. Perfect. Thank did you, you very much. Did you go to Malawasco Live Show? Yeah. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah. Oh, you had lunch with uh, yeah, those uh, fucking right, idiots. Yeah. Right, oh, yeah. So yeah. good. So yeah. good. So I went up there. I thought it was going to be, yes, they want a street named after you. Thank you very much. Everybody in favor. Aye. Bye bye. And they were just like, they hammered me. They hammered me for a half hour. 25 mm. minutes. Who's they? The the board, the Dan Daggle. They were it, asking you stuff? Yes, yes. It was so terrible. Why do we have sound to that? I, I need the audio. Tim's but Tim's wife is supposedly working on the audio because she works on the working board. Working on the audio? Yeah, getting it from this from these people. Didn't you record it? No, I tried doing it in my, my coat, remember? No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, goodbye. All right, thanks. Jesus. Let's bring in that... Uh, ins- oh, well, you do what you want to do, but... I don't even know who's here. Oh, maybe. Inspector J. Let's get that guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that guy. You want to hear a little teaser of how he... Because int- he says he's different. He's kind of weird. So I want to hear how he Oh, I know this guy. This yeah. guy's a fucking oh, bizarre no, human Oh, no, I'm sorry. But listen <laughs> to his, like... Listen to his delivery. This is Season 2, Episode 5 of Deconstructing the Menifan World. I'm Inspector J. Fresh off another Madawaska trip. Kirk and the boys are off until next week. It was my first trip up there. Like he's got he's got some structure to it, you know what I mean? It's like a it's very professional. It's sounding. very professional. I've very, never heard it. Remember yeah. DC did the week in review? He's yes. trying to pull something like that. Yeah. I guess. Is that what you're trying to do? No. I I try to bring your whole world together. So I put some Cullinane in there, some Jerry, uh, that fucking Liz Gonzalez and Casey, that shitty show I put in there. I like Casey. Like, I, yeah, I like I'm not commenting. <laughs> Don't ask me to comment on that podcast. How about Liz? I, won't, I hate Liz Gonzalez. Okay. I think that's an important podcast. It's describing things where women who are not married try and pretend they're not upset about not being married. I think it's important. Not to married and childless by choice. That's their main slogan. So. Well, I would think so, right? Yeah, well, exactly. That's, that's but great. they're helping other people through the same thing. So yeah. that's good. I mean, are they? I, yeah, I think so. You know, I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, so, uh, all right. So you do it once a week? No, I've done, I think, uh, 14 episodes. Okay. Yep. Well, what's it called? Deconstructing the Minifan Speaking world. of that, Michael. That's the name of the world. show. You get a closer, Michael. Yeah, let's feel That's what it's called? Deconstructing the Minifan World. Is it on iTunes? Yes, sir. Simple title to remember. <laughs> Jesus if you Christ. <laughs> 
used to be called deconstructing the Minifan Discord until you fucking left because of those drips. Oh, I can't blame dick. He's a dick. Yeah. Jesus. Who? You. Why? They're just dis- just ripping the Discord to yeah, shreds. We're very yeah. loyal. Yeah. These we other were. Pricks, we were, we were you know, loyal. Were yeah, we, we got to uh, get you guys back in there. All right. So I've, I see three on here on iTunes right now. Yeah, because I'm on a free server. I'm, I'm not a millionaire. So, okay. Yeah. All right, so there you go. Okay, so yeah. what's the what's the what's the pitch here for Sako? What are you gonna do? You have you have a pitch written right there? Was was that? Um, you know, I'd like to come prepared with notes. I no, just what, just in case. Were you ever uh, a broadcaster at any point? I was or? exactly. Yes, I could tell so. you have a voice, a, a professional voice. Like Thank that. you. Where were you a broadcaster? Western Mass and Lowell. I picked up radio as a hobby at Lowell, and my forte, Dave, is a hockey okay, play. Okay, let's go on play. to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right, interested. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, Kirk is okay. asking me about my background. Okay. That was me, dummy. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think that would you have called the, the differently now? Michael's at the end of the 80 Olympic hockey game. Oh boy, that's a tough one. Yeah. That, Ken Dryden stepped all over that call too. By the way, I said that Herbrooks. He did. I said that Herbrooks died five years ago. Right, there's a twenty, right? <laughs> it was before the movie came out. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Dave. I'd be great at trivia, though. I swear, I'd be good. <sighs> Jesus. Anyway, so okay, did you do? You did hockey play by play. I did for yep. who? UMass Lowell. Or? UMass Lowell. Yeah, all two right. national titles we won. Yep. What do you mean we? I was part of the team. <laughs> you were not part of the team. I got a ring. Okay, I'm sure you got a ring. <laughs> like, anyway, okay. Just like Dale, you know, these yeah, guys get rings. That's true. Yeah. How, did, how was a guy like you a fan of my show? Um, mainly from EEI. Yeah. yeah. I'm probably one of the uh, more senior fans. I think so. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I see I thought, you, go I, you, know, lot, you go to a lot of live events. I do. Though. I this do. This is a good I, fan. I hear he has a good time at those live events. Oh, is that right? I think so. Oh, what happened? Yeah, yeah. Are you the one who got... Busted for DUI, but you weren't drunk at the last one. No, that's another senior citizen that. Uh, right, the other. What's his name? He's a very nice guy. John. Uh, yeah. John Pellet. Do you hear about this, I Dave? Believe, yeah. I didn't. Uh, the guy who showed up at Milton's. We, yes. Yeah. He's a nice guy. Uh, should I, can I tell the story? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Well, what am I asking that? So he got. He got. <laughs> he's super a great guy. He got popped for a DUI in Madawaska, but he wasn't drunk. No, he doesn't he, drink. No, he has a, a stability issue. I don't, I, he he stumbles. Right. Yeah. 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 So he so they yes yeah, so they brought him in. He blew a zero point zero. But these the freaking cops in Madawaska are arresting my fans. Why aren't even drunk? Should he be driving if you're not drunk but you're? It's a different pulled over. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the, you know, of all the minivans who are shit faced driving around there, they yeah, find yeah. the one guy who isn't. Yep. Jesus. Anyway, so what's? Go I ahead. also want to make a point. I didn't give fucking. Uh, Ricky Nadeau one fucking penny okay. like these other assholes. Well, there you go. Yeah. Were you the one that, that last year yelled fuck you at Kirk? at uh, Or was it the VFW? Justin, can you hear me? I didn't go to... Didn't, didn't he yell fuck no, you? No, Matawaski oh, yelled fuck you to me. That was yeah, you, right? Somebody yeah, it was. You. I don't know why. Why did I say that? But How the hell do I know? You did. You said you, it to me. You yelled fuck you and don't remember why well, at was, a live event? Well, he was yapping away or something, which I hated these no, things. No, I know. I can get chatty. I know you're okay. you're not a chatty guy. Okay. So well, what, are you, what are you saying, Dave? I'm just telling Justin. I think Justin's got some background to it. Oh, so, God. Yeah. Well, I think we just told the story, didn't we? What's up? Goodbye. I don't <laughs> know. Nothing's up. Don't you hate when you say what's up? I hate everything about him today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so what's on the paper? Go ahead. Let me hear. No, just some background on my show. I, I do a lot of work. so I. Who's been on there? What kind of stars are we talking about? No, see, again, I don't bring in other drips. I, it's all, oh, it's just Just me. one drip. Yeah, just, just one you. drip. Okay. Yeah. okay, so you just kind of, uh, was like, what was, what's, when's your next episode? Don't know. It's, I have a tight schedule. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> okay. What do you think this is a, is a pitch so far? I have uh, music by gig. I mix in some music. Like I'm, seeing I said. This, I'm seeing this trend of people who love meet me? the show, <laughs> just want to meet you, but hate the fans. He's ta- calling fans drips. <laughs> well, most of them are. I'm a but, super fan. I'm talking about the but this real is like drips. This is a live show where the podcast feature is really for the fans. It's not like, you know what I mean? Like we're trying to entertain the fans while we do this and you no, hate no, the no. people. No, well, I super, don't. Yeah. I don't. So, but what do you, what do you, what do you, so you want to do a, a podcast in Mado, in Saco? Are you going to Saco? You're in. I already have tickets. All right, yep. good. Thank you. So yep. you want to do your show there? Yeah, exactly. And what yeah. would that entail? My usual show, or I'll play some music and have some clips from the Minifan world. I don't want to change it up just for Madawaska. Okay, I think yeah. that's reasonable. Yeah. I'll consider it, Dave. I'm, I'm a professional. I'm there to, uh, you know, support the the world oh, i appreciate and, uh, that i'm like dave who's dumping on no, you. no i, I like his i like his energy like he he seems he comes off like he doesn't give a fuck but he i feel like he gives a fuck well, he's a he's a professional broadcaster yeah okay yeah. well i like him all right I'll like put him, him in the maybe you want to put him in the maybe all right we're thinking all right about thank it. you inspector right. jay thank Goodbye. you sir firm maybe all right thank you very much for joining us all right are we done with these people uh, no we got dave, we got our friend dave is dave here justin is dave here who dave
Dave who? Talking Loud Saying Nothing. You don't listen to Talking Loud Saying Nothing? I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a great podcast. I like these guys. So one of the guys who hosts the show is the DJ who called in the other day. Oh, God. Is yeah. this him now? Yeah. Uh, no, this is his co-host on this podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is this? No, thing? I like yeah. this guy. This guy's great. Oh, boy. Okay. Good start. Yep. It's all right. All right. Fixed? Okay. Yes. What's his name? His name's Dave. Dave, Dave. how are you? Good, Kirk. How you doing today? Good. I'm doing fine. Thank you. So I, I don't know who this person is. Talking Loud Saying Nothing. I, I've never heard it. Oh, they have a good time. You have cologne on? I have a little bit of cologne. Oh, God. You fucking give me a headache. It comes in and just takes over the entire room. There's no way. I put it on like early. Oh, how did I know that then? I mean, hopefully everyone wears a little cologne now. I don't. Okay. Do you, Dave? Uh, yes, I do. You do? Yeah, I do. Why, you can't smell on anything? No, I, I never do. How close have I been to you? I've only ever real, touched you. Milton was we were close. Took a picture. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Anyway. So you really don't remember me? <laughs> From, <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I don't. All right. So we met at, uh, you were still doing the radio.com. You were still like, think it was a thing. Moroso was your producer. Mm -hmm. I was the general manager at Potbelly at Terminal B. You were flying out for a business meeting. How can I not remember? Oh, there we go. He was ready for that. Oh, I how feel bad I, for him in this I, moment. How can I not remember? Well, I'm, obviously, I know I'm being facetious. You right. ate your popular sandwich cold, wild move. You were the manager there? Yeah, I was oh, the general man. manager. Yep. The pot belly where? Uh, Terminal B, Logan Airport. <laughs> I, don't, I was going where? You were. You told me. We had a conversation. You were flying out to uh, do a meeting with the radio.com. Radio yeah, 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 yeah. Moroso was with you. That's a Moroso era. Moroso was at the airport with me? Yeah. No, that's not right. No? No, 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 no. You, you, not you said you were with your producer, so I assumed at the time it was him because he was doing you were doing enough about me. Well, I might have been with Carlson uh, Mosdies, maybe. Who's oh, so, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, I was definitely I never flew with Mark Moroso. <laughs> I don't think Moroso's ever been on a plane. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, 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 okay, so so what, what is your show? It's called Talking Loud, Saying Nothing. Um, my producer called in the other day. You called him Mick Mac J. Uh, is he called himself, wasn't it? No, it's Mixmaster J. He's a DJ. Oh, this is, is the guy I was telling you. He's the original Pauly D, right? No, so oh, you, you you got it a little mixed up. He he DJ back in the day in Providence with Pauly D and those guys. Uh huh. And Sorry <laughs> Kirk is so up. bored. Jesus. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, no, he called in and uh, he he built a studio in his house, kind of like Craig's trying to do. And we do a podcast, Kirk. Uh, like who's we, trying to do? Craig isn't Craig building a studio? Craig who? From very good show. How the hell do I know what he's doing? This happened. He said it on your show the other day. I said that. Someone said that on their show on Craig's, Wednesday. Craig's earned the first name, just like the casual <laughs> call. The guy I know the crazy <laughs> prince. Yeah. No, I think Craig is building a studio. I don't know anything Craig's doing. Okay. Well, Blind Mike said he is because they're doing oh, a okay. once a month thing. Remember? Oh yes, he's Pretty driving up to uh, mm. uh, Connecticut or whatever. Yeah, maybe yeah, New yeah. Hampshire, something. Okay, yeah. So, 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 Mick Mac J is doing that. Yeah. So, right. hiring Rob as director of fun is a great idea. By the way. Uh, Firing will be more fun. <laughs> that actually fun. will be. Yeah. And I think Jay playing some music, I think that's a great idea. What do you do? So we host a podcast. Jay's my producer. I would love to be on stage as well, do the podcast. Is what it's called? Is, do you even podcast? No, no. It's called Talking Loud, Saying what Nothing. What is do you even podcast? Why have I seen that before? What is that? Uh, I don't know. Okay. It's a phrase. Um, so <sighs> you actually would like one episode that we did. Okay. All right. We, you're a mob guy, right? You're into like mob stuff. Obviously, mm -hmm. you listen to the sit down. Uh, not anymore, but yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. New dude's out. Mm -hmm. So we had on a former uh, associate, the Patriarca crime family, this guy named Tony Fiore. He did 37 years in jail, uh, has a New York Times Sunday article about him. Mm -hmm. He was featured on Crime Town. Did you ever listen to Crime Town? Yeah. He was uh, the, the, <clears throat> the cat and the mouse. Where uh, it's him and the state police guy. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so he was on and he told some unbelievable stories. One that like blew my mind. The day that... Uh, I wish it had. Uh, <clears throat> the day that Whitey Bulger... <laughs> I got that. The day that Whitey Bulger killed one of the guys, he actually tried blaming, pinning it on Tony. Oh, Tony okay. was with the guy the day that Bulger killed him. So I, uh, that's an episode I think you would actually... Why are you here? <laughs> Uh, I'm here to to talk about the pod. Right. I want to do the show. Okay. And I'm here to promote Mixmaster J to play the hits with Colony in that well, day. Well, it, it depends on what you want for this thing. Do you want just like people no, suck off the minute fans? Or do you no, like no, he's no. talking well, crime? This guy hate this guy, uh, no, Minahan I mean, hater? No, but I mean, do you Is want Minahan hand hater? No, not at all. No, but do you There's want no people- criticize Kirk Minahan on social media? No. They'll find it. I, I might have done once. Okay. You blocked me for two weeks. Why did I do that? Uh, I said I agreed with something with the Canadian. And you blocked me. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Did I unblock you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's yeah, classic. That's yeah. a personal thing. Can we do unblocking for the show, by the way? No. Can I vouch for that? No. Why? Because I like some people being upset about it. Okay. Yeah, All right. yeah and you do. There are some people really upset about it. About what? You you blocking them. Oh, well. It's actually well, funny. Yeah, but you Such can't control life. personal. I just Such mean the life. show. Yeah. All right. Well, well, anyway. All right. So, but but I feel like I'm missing. What, yeah. Why, so, Dave? Why can't we do both? I don't understand that. No, I just said stay like stay in your lane. Pitch one thing at a time. I a mixed master J. What's being pitched here? He's pitching to do the podcast at 
Sacco. His okay. podcast, Talking Loud, Saying Nothing. Dot that, com. That the DJ is part of as well. He doesn't DJ on that show, though. He doesn't. Well, he plays music, but he doesn't like do. He doesn't play the hits like me. You know. Sure. No, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you don't want. So what's the other pitch then? You said there's two. Pitches. The other pitch was the DJ who called in. He's also on that podcast. He wants to be the house DJ of Sacco, which makes sense. I have some other things going on to be planning out, so he can kind of be the collaborator with the hits, be in the house. Okay. Like everyone, like Rob was saying, everyone's yeah. going to be playing games, doing stuff. You want to hear a little bit of music? Jay's there to to, to play some music yeah. as well. Okay, I okay. like the play. Okay, what's the name of the podcast again? Talking loud, saying nothing. Talking loud, saying nothing or nothing. 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 Okay. Nothing. And okay. my Twitter handle at uh, Davar eighteen nineteen. What? At Davar. Uh huh. Eighteen nineteen. Why eighteen nineteen? Because uh, that's uh, the, my sister's birthday. My birthday. She was born August eighteenth. I was born August nineteenth. Oh, okay. Okay. That's mm -hmm. that's interesting, right? Good story. Not interesting. No. No. Uh, is your sister older or younger? She's younger. Okay. Wonderful. Yep. All right. So we'll put that in the maybe. We'll, uh, thank you, Dave. Yeah. Right, thank we'll, you. Uh, 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 that means you can leave. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much. All right. So we only have one certainty. Walk the long way around. So I have to smell you when you leave. Thank you. <laughs> so that's only right. one certainty. We're done. Yeah, well, that's, but I didn't think it was, that's about what I thought it would be. Yeah, okay. Two maybes. I thought you'd be an easy guy. I thought you'd be, just let them all go. No, got to earn it. Okay, all right. We'll cool. do this again in a couple weeks, I okay. think. Yeah. This is a disaster, but you know. Yep. Nobody died, I don't think. What yet. about what about the uh, Lemon Haze guy? Is he, uh, he's out? I mean. Uh, that's a wild, like that's, he's such a wild card that I feel like you got to consider it. Sure, we can consider it, but okay. I mean, you can't, you, you, you got to, there is like we, this is a different show than most I understand, but it's also still human beings. It's a place of business. Yeah, you can't time. barge your way. It doesn't work yeah. that way. And I didn't, I didn't like him trying to shame me publicly and stuff like that. That was a bad luck. And I fine. called him a dick bag, so that's on me too. That's but, fine. I don't right. care about that. But okay. I'm saying you can't barge into a studio. Like it doesn't, this is like, you know. Three times. No, uh, twice it was. Yeah, I mean, like I told Justin, like, like yeah, at some point you have to actually call the police. Yes. So, so who's in? Um, we just gave uh, Mick. Mick is the only, they're the only, and I, that's a shocker to me a little bit. But Mick and uh, Below Average Podcast. I think there's a chance they might just get they might just get booed off the stage though. Uh, no, nah, people will be so happy that day. That's gonna be a good. They day. won't be paying attention probably. Yeah, that's the other thing. So we have one. We put Inspector J in the maybe category. Yep. We put no no from Alaska Rob. Yep. We put that thing in that. I and there's know. literally, I mean, we all put this together. What Wednesday was the show? So there's, I have at least twenty five more podcasts that want to pitch themselves. Is that true? Yeah, a oh, lot. Jesus, including Christ. the kid who uh, Barstool, who's a Dave Portnoy signed to his uh, his whole new marketing group yesterday. There's a Minifan fan who got oh, signed one yesterday. Yes, Andrew, my parents' office podcast. He got signed by Dave Portnoy yesterday. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what what happened? Uh, so what is that? That's where obviously now all the college athletes can market themselves, right? So now the NCAA is allowing that, right? And Dave just said, "All right, any college athlete, D one college athlete." Hit me up. No, I well now because of Andrew or whatever. But I mean, he just said hit me up. Right. And they signed him to a marketing deal. So I don't know the financial arrangements, but he can make money selling their name, merch. But athletes can stuff. do whatever they want now, right? Yes. Open like, the floodgates. Anything. Yes. That's crazy. So yeah. all advertising, everything. Everything. You know what I was wondering though is like, let's I say don't. Dave. Let's say Dave uh, gets an athlete mm -hmm. from Boston College. Right. And he signs him, so he's selling his their merch. If I go to a Boston College game. Can Boston College not sell merch with his name on it either? Does he have to do a new deal with that guy? With, I don't know. With them? And they gave yeah. him a free ride? It's like, it's fucked up a little bit. <clears throat> well, yes, but with the free ride, they're also getting you know, massive television revenue and you know, they're getting all the shitload of money and stadiums. Yeah, and but if you're their agent and you're trying to maximize their, fine, you know, from a lucrative standpoint, you're trying to maximize their worth there, don't you go to the college and say, you got to pay for this just like Barstool is about to pay for it? I would think. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I didn't pay much attention to it, you know, the Ed O'Bannon. I, I don't really care them that, that much about it, but yeah. it's a good move by Barstool. Yeah. I think they're probably thinking, you know, maybe if we represent all these people, what if two or three of them actually break out and become, like, stars? Like, is there a chance that next Trevor Lawrence will be represented by Barstool? Like, I'd say there's a chance. I mean, they're the, tr they're the trendy thing on social media and all these people reaching out to them. Why won't, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess. All right, Vincero Collective, vincerocollective.com. A uh, perfect solution to your everyday uh, watch style need. Stylish, classy, uh, and it can be pretty pricey normally. Vincero is changing that. They believe you deserve to look good no matter your budget. Uh, Stress-free shopping with fair and honest prices. Five-year warranty. 365-day return policy. Over 30,000 five-star reviews from verified customers. Uh, you can read for yourself on the site. Uh, they think you deserve the best, so their team in San Diego is always available to help out if you need anything. Don't overpay. For a watch that looks cheap and disappoints, go to vincerocollective.com forward slash Kirk. Support our show. Head over to their website right now and get yourself a timepiece. Go to our link and use discount Kirk 
This is a buy you won't regret. That's a promise. Uh, VinceroCollective.com slash Kirk. VinceroCollective.com uh, slash Kirk. Uh, what else we got, Dave? Uh, well, what do you want to do? You want to play? Do you want to play Dave's little emergency press conference of of the NCA? No, okay. What about Cosby? What's your take on Cosby? Anything? I was happy for him. Yeah. yeah <laughs> my oh, take yeah. on Cosby. It's fucking well, nuts. But I mean, but my, some my of the reaction, like his the the co-star there of the Alicia Cosby Rashad show. Is what a, a fucking, fucking idiot. And Jason Whitlock. What a fucking dummy. So yeah. So Whitlock tweets out this thing where he says that you know good for her because she's being loyal to, and that's just that's just fucking pot stirring crap. Nuts. Fake bullshit. He doesn't believe that. You know, Bill Cosby is the most prolific rapist in the history of this country that we know of. I mean, it's documented. It's a fact. Now, he was not declared innocent. I think some people are, are confusing this. He was, he was, you know, released from prison, but he's still guilty. He's, you know, and if you go listen to Chase and Cosby, um, I don't know if we had the producer of that podcast on or not. We promoted it a lot, and uh, they follow me on Twitter. I follow them. I was corresponding with them after the decision. Uh, go listen to that podcast, Chase and Cosby. It's fucking great. She does it. They do a great job. There's two or three women, I think. And, it, and they speak to all the victims. And I saw, you know, uh, Felicia Rashad tweet out, uh, so happy for justice, da, da, da. This woman is a dean at Howard University, by the way, College of Arts. Fucking crazy. Nuts. Insane. I mean, you know, I saw everybody tweeting, it. Britney Spears can't fucking buy a cup of coffee. <laughs> Bill, uh, literally, she, like that, that to me, that story, really fucked up thing. The story is so wild. I know KFC's been all over that beat, but that is frigging insane like she can't like buy a cup of coffee but in fairness uh, you know and i don't know the whole background of that, she went fucking nuts like, like there 20 years ago 20 years ago yeah so you got to do yeah i guess but it was i, I actually remember because it was right when we adopted kate and it, it, it had it, while we were in iowa waiting you had to wait for a certain period before you could leave the state with your with, when you adopt a kid that was when like i think she shaved her head and all yeah that she went completely nuts but I, like i don't think she can do anything like i don't, I don't think she has a bank account yeah which is just and she's got to be in her, she has to be in her 40s now. So how is she, she's just living, like, I don't even understand how she's living her life with zero control. Well, I'm sure she, she has, have, she has some money, access to a certain amount of money through this whole process. You, uh, do you have Clancy's number? Uh, yes. You want to call him real quick. See, I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's probably doing something. Yeah, I'm call him. These people are still here, by the way. Why, I don't know. I, well, you told him to come to lunch with me, didn't you? Oh, that's true, Yes. Yes, Dave's taking him out of lunch today. <clears throat> Let's see. No answer. No answer. He knows we tape it this time, right? Yeah, but he's probably, yeah. he might have other things to do. Yeah. I don't, I don't right. think he right. knows what time we're taping. I have yeah. no idea. <clears throat> um, so you're really upset at Jerry? No, I just, no, I'm not like totally upset or anything like that. I just thought that he would have my back in saying that, no, it was a collaborative effort that I got, like I got, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like I, I got know. fucked over just like Dave got fucked over. I don't know. I just thought he'd own it. So I'm not that upset, but I, I felt like by he, who? who'd you get fucked over? Like by? we got lied to, I think by who, by the producer kid. I think he said he had oh, all these skills oh, and, you know, and I, and they make a big deal of it. Like, you know, I could have, he watched over me. He said he had all the tools. He, you know, every literally to the, that should have been a fucking something I picked up on. He literally said he had the same board, the same service, the same software, everything to a T. He said he had. And he made you fool you on that one, huh? He fooled me. So that's so, like a bayou. So wow. that happens, you know? Yeah, well, okay. yeah, I, mean, I, I don't, I personally don't And by that. the way, like, is it really the end of the world that that happened? Like two shows, it didn't fuck up Jerry. It didn't like screw his show over. And <clears> no, but he's very, Jerry is, you know, is very, like he gets very worked up about things like that. It's just, I don't know. I don't, whatever. But we still, like I helped Craig yesterday. Oh, well, you did? Yep, I gave him. You still service. work on that show? No, I just gave him access to my stuff to help him. Uh, that's all. Okay. Know? So it's just weird to me that he wouldn't be more. I don't know. Dave was super helpful. And well, you said that. This is my, okay. You right. said that. He likes you. And then you, you guys know. were making fun of me, which wasn't. I don't even know what you were making fun of me about. There was something cut out of that too, right? Something with a Burlington Mall. Yes. Yeah. 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 There was. There was. <laughs> yes. There was. Yes. There was. But that's all in good fun. No, I know. I I'm mean, fine with it. I, I said I ended that with saying I love Jerry. Well, love is a bad word. You use love. I don't use. I love him. Yeah. Yeah. But, I, I like Jerry a lot. Um, I'm very surprised that Shattuck, who now is on AM in Connecticut, I mean death spot, but uh, has a job which is good for him. But he's working for Intercom, and he has me and Jerry on. It's a pretty bold move. I have yeah. to say. I give him credit. Yeah. I. They're not like watchdogs over him though. Nah, well, yeah, I guess. I, yeah, who knows? I don't know. Anyway, um, 
<clears throat> Anything else you get any sounding? Uh, well, I was going to see if you saw, did you hear Tarantino on Rogan kind of talking about Weinstein? Do you listen to any of that? Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Did you think yeah. he said, do you like that? You want to play the sound and see if there's anything of value? Or sure, no? go ahead. All right. <clears throat> Is it for you to have had a relationship with that guy for all these years, making all these films, and now see what he's become? It's um, it's sad. It's sad. He, it was like, you know, he wasn't like, he wasn't just this guy who financed my movies. He was, you know, kind of like a father figure. I mean, he was kind of a fucked up father figure, but that's, most people's fucking father. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he was a, a fucked up father figure, but he was like, you know, he was involved in, you know, uh, my professional life for like a long, long time. So it's like, it's, you know, I think it's sad. I feel like when I was listening back to that, I was listening to a guy who is hurt and pissed off. And I feel like there's a lot of people in Hollywood that are like that. Well, right? I mean, but they have to bear <laughs> some responsibility. Yeah. Well, I, I used to fight with actually with Jerry about this all the time because Jerry would say that, you know, everybody knew, everybody knew, everybody knew. And, and, my thing was, I don't think that Quentin Tarantino knew that Harvey Weinstein was raping women. As he says, he goes on and says, but everybody knew that he was a fucking creepy guy. Yes. So I don't know what Quentin Tarantino was supposed to do with our, if he's not armed with actual facts. He's supposed to go in all the press conference and say Harvey Weinstein's a creepy guy. But look at like 2021, right? Now we're so sensitive about everything. Sure. Am I going to work with a creepy guy? If I have a gut feeling that somebody's creepy, am I going to work with him? I won't. Just no, I agree. The world. Oh, I, I don't agree. think you would. No, so, I agree. Yeah, no. So everybody was okay with it back then and we're just, you know. We're yes, to be okay but it's with like, it yes, no, but you know, it's, it's in Tarantino says, you know, these guys who say, oh, I didn't know he was a creep. Everybody knew. Everybody knew. It's just like with Cosby. I've told this story before. I had a buddy of mine who worked at the Tonight Show when I was out in LA in 98, 99. And he, I remember him telling me one day at the, at, at our apartment, he was like, yeah, when Bill Cosby's on, like they hide all the interns. That's just fucking this was, gross. And I remember him telling me this in 1999. It was yeah. just known. It's just fucking. Cr- I don't know. You like, know, it's crazy. It, it you know, and, and now luckily, uh, it doesn't. I mean, in Hollywood's a little different, right? Like you are fighting for your life to make it in Hollywood. You're battling your ass off, then you get there, and you're gonna turn a blind eye to shit. Like well, that, that's a, when, when you listen to Chasing Cosby again. The reference to that podcast. It's a lot of women who were trying to have a career in Hollywood, and when Bill Cosby sees you at a club or something and invites you up to his room, you know, or invite you know, you know, they they're thinking, well, I'm going to meet Bill Cosby. Uh, and then they take a drink of something and they're fucking passed out and they wake up and he's fucking naked or he's gone and they're naked and they've been raped. And then, you know, so it's like, well, even back in the day, I think, was it like NBC or somebody interviewed one of the, uh, accusers or victims, but she's saying like, he offered her the pills oh, and yeah. she took the pills. Right. Do you know what I mean? So he did for, at least for that victim, she knew what she was doing. She just didn't know she was going well, to pass get raped. out raped. Yeah, no, he you was, know? no, he would, she would, they would, I think I know what you're talking about. She said, I have a headache or yeah. something. And he's like, oh, take these. He would always, that was the only way. And he like, worded it like a fucking creep yeah, too. That's right? how didn't we he? did it. Like, yeah. that's how we got off. He's a fucking and whatever, like, do am I that worked up? He's out of prison at like eighty five and decrepit. Not really, but I, but I do understand how the victims are outraged, and you know, but he's. I'll just be interested to see if he actually tries in, to do things. If he's actually going to try, well, he's it. trying to go on tour for this. I mean, right? they're really going to do that. Like, is somebody going to really have him like at, at, at an arena? Well, let me. Ask, that's no a good way. question for you. You have a Wilbur show coming up. Let's say the Wilbur books. Bill There's no Cosby. way they would though. The Will, you think the Wilbur's in the book Bill Cosby? Well, he, probably, he probably couldn't sell it, the Will, right? He so probably, he's got to go as well, that's the other thing. Who's going to go? Yeah. Oh, that'd be a bad luck. No, if the, if, if the Wilbur, they wouldn't. If they ever booked Bill Cosby there, it would be fucking gone. Yeah. would be out of there. You don't right? think people will just forget and say, fuck it, he's funny and let's just move He's on. not funny. And yeah. he's like 85. Yeah. And he's the most prolific rapist in American history. It's gross. Jesus. What else? And he's free. I don't know. You want to open the phone lines, by the way? Yeah, we'll, we'll do take that. A few we'll take calls. a few phone calls. All right, we'll they're open. I'll tweet it. Yeah, I don't, you know. All right, I'll tweet it out. These people have to bring, you know, the, 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 these people apply, you know, if you're bringing a, doing a podcast, that's what I'm saying about these, at least about these, uh, whatchamacallit uh, guys, uh, beyond average, whatever the hell it is. They had a little bit of attitude. Yeah. A little bit did. of life. They did. You had, you know, Matt Owasco Rob come in and say, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really want to do it. Yeah. Tim's not, I don't know. Yeah. No, that, that's not going to work. Then you had the older guy come in and he was fine. He was kind of like, uh, then you had uh, uh, the other guy yapping about some mafia guy. Like, I think a lot of them are just a little nervous. You know what I mean? And they just sure, want to play. They just want to play it cool in front of you and, and stuff like that. I guess. Did you retweet the phone numbers? They're loading up though. They'll be loaded. Oh, you know what I thought was funny? Did you see that ESPN uh, anchor that nobody's ever heard of who's uh, demanding eight million dollars Stephen A. Smith money? I, I saw that. <laughs> Good for her. Give her the shot. That's so ridiculous. Come on. 
<clears throat> I've never even heard of this this woman. Yeah, I wonder how that leaked. It's yeah, that's a good point. Probably your agent, right? Yes, or somebody yeah. who hates her there. Even though it like, looks bad, it's still it could drive up there. I mean, at the end of the day, if they're desperate for the talent, well, they're, they're not getting. No one's, they're paying her eight million dollars. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, I've never heard of her. I think yeah. she does NBA stuff. Oh, is that right? All yeah. right. All right, you want to take calls? Sure, we'll take a few. All right, six one seven. What do you got? So if Steve was in the office, do you think that uh, guy trying to overrun you would have got shot today? That's a good question. Ooh, that's a yeah, good Steve with a Steve with a Steve. I will. That's an interesting question. So if Steve was here, oh, Steve would have been fine. Steve probably would have shot the guy. I've told that story in South Carolina. Is, was Steve, I, I haven't had too many interactions in those types of settings. Has he got a temper in those moments? No, he's very calm. Yeah. Okay. I told this. Uh, I think a few weeks ago we were uh, we were down in South Carolina for the case. We were outside the uh, the sheriff's office. We were walking back into the car, and somebody was walking toward us. Uh, out of the out of the sheriff's office, probably out of you know, I just come out of jail, and he looked like somebody who was potentially involved in the case. So I was kind of staring at him, staring at him, staring at him, and he was getting close. He was actually the car next to ours when he walked over there. And he looked at me and he's like, "You got a problem? Something wrong?" And it wasn't him. And I was like, "Oh no, I thought it was somebody else." And he got in this car and I looked over at Steve, and Steve had his hand in his uh, jacket. He was fucking ready. I was like, "You know, fucking shoot this guy in the, sh- the fucking parking lot of the sheriff's department." Yeah, but I mean, look at that, that guy. I mean, to this caller's point. That guy just showed up, and we have no recourse. And he, he could have beat the shit out of me, to be honest with you. Well, legally, could sh- if he comes in here, we tell him not. Could Steve have killed him? Uh, I think so. Right so there, you go. Yeah. yeah. Anything else, caller? That's it. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Bye. Uh, all right. Let's go with uh, nine seven eight. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, Kirk. Uh, quick question: Are You guys ever going to do a golf tournament? Well, I get asked this all the, literally all the time. <clears throat> um. Uh, yeah, at some point, I, I yeah, I guess we, we you know, it's it feels like a next year kind of thing. All right, all right, all right, yeah, good talk, guys. Have a good boy. You know what I wanted to pitch? I still want to pitch to you that golf show idea. Remember, I pitched it to you like a long time ago. Let's pretend I don't remember. Pitch it well, again. it was uh, I wanted to do like uh, enough about me playing golf at like an indoor golf simulator. So you could be viewing the screen of you playing golf. And then in the lower corner, it's you like talking to Jerry and interviewing him enough about me style. It's just like a series for YouTube or something. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Think about it. Yeah. Nine yeah. holes. Or how about a YouTube show where I just play random golf holes around the world? Could do that too. Yeah. And just showcase that. Yes. All right. Seven, seven, four. I watched Trent try and break a hundred last night on YouTube is the latest episode. Oh, any good? No. Oh yeah. You, you even watched it? Oh. Yeah, you know Trent, you know, yes. from Four yeah, Play. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I watch every episode. He's There's so to... many fucking golf shows now. Like outside of Four Play. Like that Caleb's oh, yeah. got a golf show. Yeah, that's and right. Chicklets does golf. Like that's so you, true. you gotta get in the mix. Everyone's doing it. Yeah. I was texting with Riggs yesterday. Uh I don't uh Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I I'm playing like I'm not playing great right now anyway. So I'm just not playing enough. Mm, all right. You play didn't you play recently or no? Yeah, I put pretty well. I parred the first four holes and then I went to When the was show. this? This was uh two weeks ago. And then I went to the shitter. So where do you play? Uh, I played at Brook Meadow the a couple oh, yeah. of weekends ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. not bad. You part of the first four? Yeah, it was good. That's lucky though. I'm not, I'm not that good. Seven seven four. Kirk, what's happening, man? Minifin Al. Oh, good. What's up? Hey, so now that they're out of there, what was your honest opinion on the Beyond Average guys? Because they were lighting up the YouTube live chat. I'm telling you, I'm all for it. They brought a little bit of life, a little bit of pizzazz. I mean, that's, that's what I mean. It was that, it was something different. You yes, know what I mean? Yes, like, yes. You get these old swabs in there. Correct, <laughs> correct. Like they were not. Look, were they annoying as hell? Yes, but that's okay. I don't mind that. You know, but right, but, yeah, but but we know. Awesome. But I mean, we all know but it's people gonna. In the it's, chat were loving them. Great, thank you. I'm happy about that. It's going to end horribly with these guys eventually, though. Of that, there is no doubt. Like it's gonna end. Oh, I'm it's sure. A, yeah, you're gonna blow up on them at some point. Oh, but you know, give them the little minute fan bump, man. They're good guys. Yeah, I agree. They're in. Well, I don't know if they're good guys or not. Thanks for the call, but they are. They are in. They are. They are. T- they are. They are. They I'd are. like to know what blowing up the chat means. Like, I'd like to know what that reaction is in there. Well, I could see. Like, you saw everyone who came in. They they definitely were the most interesting of anybody prepared and yeah they, had a little shtick, they had the a little suits bit. on yeah, he looked the, like an asshole sitting in the chair two pricks like, yeah. like I, yeah. I like that yeah i like that right. 774 but i will say one second 774 i will say those guys are going to be they're going to be they're going to get recognized they're going to be little pussies at that soccer show yeah Buddies with everybody they'll also do the soccer show and then they'll disappear if they won't they'll they'll use it and then go away don't you think yeah probably you see that a yeah. lot yeah, yeah. hello Turkey, I was actually going to ask about the golf tournament as well. Uh, eighth time, long time. Listen, uh, I got another question. At so let's fast forward twenty years, right? You have uh, little Harry's child on your lap, and uh, you're by a campfire or something, and you're going to tell your 
athletic endeavor from when you're a youngest, like your greatest athletic achievement? What story do you tell him <clears throat> from either high school or prep school or what, what story do you, you know, tell your grandchild? My greatest athletic endeavor. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. I, you know, I will say, uh, Go ahead. you know, I was an okay basketball player. Um, uh, That's what you're. I would say for? it's hard to beat. I mean, I shot 34, 33 in eight in 36 holes at Hagel Harrington's back to back. Ooh, that's 600 par and 700 par 1300 for 36. When was holes. that? I guess my brother Ryan in 98, 90, no, 02, 03. Uh, we had a 72 hole tournament. Uh, we played 36, and we walked over to Papa's for lunch and then walked back and played our final 36. And he beat me. He actually shot 32-32, I think it was, and beat me by a shot. Wow, you guys are studs. Uh, and, and, but they, but I love Hagel Harrington. It's closing after this year. Uh, but they've kind of tricked up the course now. It's more kid stuff. It's like goofier. Like This used to be a shot maker's course. Um, I put that up against anything. And, and uh, Hagel Harrington, the guy who owned the place himself, Said you're the best I've ever seen do it. Do this, the best I've ever seen. Yeah, sure he did. Yeah. <laughs> you want to ask sure. Ryan? I'm sure. You want to ask Ryan? I'm sure. Yeah, we, yeah. we go call Ryan right now. All right, you want to text me his number? I'll call him. Yeah. Mm. Let me see. Uh... <sighs> Ryan, who I do share contact right? So I hit uh, I hit one home run in Little League Grand Slam in Little League. That was the best athletic accomplishment I've ever had. How nice do you? Yeah, went off something. Went off the center field of his head and went over in Grand Slam. Oh, it did like Jose yeah. Canseco. Yeah, it was awesome. And then the kid had to go uh, off in an ambulance. It was great. Is that right? Yeah, it's a great moment. All right, here's Ryan's number. Okay. All right, thanks, caller. Ryan Minahan is uh, driving cross country right now as he moves to Oregon. <clears throat> you got it. Yep. Let me call. Yeah, I don't know if he's got a shitty connection. He's already out in, like, Wyomingville. Or whatever. Why'd he go there? Why'd he move there? Yeah, yeah his uh, wife's family's from there. and you know. Let's call him. <clears throat> you may not recognize the number. That's true. Yeah, you want me to text him? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, take a few yeah. more calls. Right, They're load up, calls. I assume? Uh, they are loaded up. All right, we'll take a couple of calls. Yeah, take a few. All right, we got uh, 70, I guess, 780. You there? 780? Hello? Nope. I think they dropped off. Hello? All right, goodbye. We got uh, hey, hello. 774. One second. You know, the other thing hey, is I, like, one I, second, I, one second. You know, I, I don't, if they want to make it all legal, that's fine. But this Olympic sprinter, like, yeah, those are the rules. Yeah. You know the rules. Yeah. You violated the rules. Yeah. And so she, you're kicked out. That's, she said that today. She, she said, okay, it. good for yeah, her. Yeah, but yeah, that's, she that's she like, that's, that's like, I, I think the rule is stupid. Yep. That's a different conversation. But everyone's saying it's the biggest outrage of all time. It's not an outrage. Yeah. It's a dumb rule. Though you do have to feel bad for her in that moment because it also was a coping mechanism for her to, or maybe she's bullshitting. But is she, that right? She lost her mother, I believe oh, it was. Well, okay. Well, it's tough. I'm, yeah. I'm not saying it. I'm not, but I mean, it's like, and I feel bad for it. I think that it's fucking stupid and it's dumb and it's antiquated. It should be changed. But don't say like this. The, 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 those are the rules. The rules yeah. might suck, but those are the rules. I don't and know I, why and I think cared she, about that. Yeah, but I think she's owning it. So 774. Seven, oh, good for her. Hey, guys, I got a wedding coming up in a couple of weeks. What's, uh, what's an appropriate amount for a gift? Well, I'm hearing uh, a wide range of answers. Well, w well, give me the relationship to the, uh, is it the bride or groom that you're side on? Uh. I'm best friends with the groom. Your best friend? Are you in the wedding? Yes. Are you the best man? Sh shout out to Andy getting married uh, uh, to uh, okay. Jada coming up. We don't uh, care. We, we, we don't care about Andy. He's watching on the live stream. Shut up, Andy. Uh, Shut up, uh, Jada. Hopefully your plane goes down during the honeymoon. What? Uh, are you the best man? Uh, No. Okay. Are you in the wedding party? Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, biomedical engineering. Okay. All did right. he go? The, did he go? Are you married? No. Okay. Uh, 
You're just cash, right? You're the, you're the question is just a cash question? Uh, cash, yeah. I got him a bunch of new uh, KMS merchandise also. Uh, good. That's good. Yeah, I would say account. if you're his best friend, if you're his best, how long have you been best friends for? Um, eight years. Maybe. Eight years. I got to say $1,000. Ooh, really? Yeah. That's a lot. That's what I would do. Are you uh, kidding me? Yeah, that's fucking nuts. That's what I would give that's him. That's wacko. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, no way. It's more I ever gave Steve's a bonus. I'd say t- a, bo- a bonus and a wedding gift are two different things. I would say it, $250. Real- no, $250. no. This guy's a biomedical engineer. I, I, I was the best man at my best friend's wedding, and I didn't. I How didn't, much money do you make a year? Uh, Close close to 100 I said, max out at 500 if we're trying to meet in the middle with you. That's crazy talk. Yeah, that's show Best friend. Now you're just no, showing off. You're just showing this off. This is best friend. You're showing off. If it's, it's your just, best friend, who's your best friend? My best friend is Pat. And by the way, he is part of the roommate story. And congratulations. The last one, baby, last night. So oh, congratulations. Yes, Boy or girl? Uh, girl. Oh, what's her name? I don't know. I should probably talk some shit. It ha- I just, literally, before the show, I got the text. I give that kid nine months. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Uh, well, congratulations yeah, to Pat yeah. and his lovely wife, uh, Eleanor, whatever her name is. Yeah, Good. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Uh, well, congratulations. Uh, so what, when, when the pastor got married, how much did you throw him? When the pastor got married? The pastor, Pat. Oh, pastor, is that what you're calling yeah. him? I want to say probably 250 or 300, but I also threw a badass bachelor party. So that's a lot of money. Did your too, wife know her? The wife? Does my wife know the wife? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. They we, we were roommates. So it's yeah. almost like a double, yeah. it's almost like a double gift though. Uh, Cause you know them both. You almost have to double up there. Uh, no, no. She took care of her and I took care of him. Yeah. So she gave a separate check to them. Uh, like a gift or whatever. I think when you're friends with people, the rules don't apply like just money like that. He's not. Well, he this guy like, is this guy is saying money, not me. He said it. I don't know. My best friend, I treated different. I threw a badass fucking bachelor party, and I sure think I just wonderful. did something two fifty. Nashville is a great time. Oh, it's fucking original. It's a great city. Yeah. Everyone goes there for bachelor parties now. Huh? Yeah. Three, right. three, three, six. So a thousand's too much. Yeah, way too much. That's stupid. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. All right, fine. Three, three, six. You know what you give them, Dave? One second is Milton's. Ooh. Outfit them completely. The sneeze store for men. Uh, summer sale going on presently. Uh, Vineyard Vine, Side Bahama, Under Armour, uh, North Face. Uh, go to Milton's.com before all the best deals are gone. Uh, buy one, get one free suit event going on right now. Well, wide, wide, wide selection of suits. Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren. All on sales we speak. You go to Social Shore Plaza Braintree or Chestnut Hill Square, Chestnut Hill. The original sponsor of Kirk Minahan. You'll be as comfortable in our stores as you'll be in our clothes. We know that. Go to Miltons.com or the great stores in Social Shore Plaza Braintree, Chestnut Hill Square, Chestnut Hill. I will say this. If you are going to show up to Sacco as the director of fan engagement, you're going to need to look good. So we're going to go to Miltons. We'll get him to Miltons. Who is Rob? Going to he's the director of fan engagement. He's gonna throw, make Milton's give this guy a suit or something? Who said that? I'll fucking pay for it. He's got to look you good. It's got to be with. Yeah, sure, I'll pay for it. Yeah. Why? Why do you have to pay for it? Well, I mean, I'm not gonna ask you to pay for it. I just came up with the idea, and whatever. I got. I'd like to say hi to Bill. So it's all right. Okay. Good. All perfect. Right. Three, three, perfect. six. Yeah, um, Kirk. Uh, I was going through Peacock yesterday, going through the shows. Did you know that Michael Holly has a show with Michael Smith? <laughs> I yes. did know that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I did know that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what you, you know what it's called? Nobody's watching. It's called brother, that brother from another. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, well original. I get uh, no. You know, I I always I'll, got along. I always got along fine with Holly. My understanding is uh, that when, like, Holly was bitching a lot about us to management, a lot uh, to us about management. But I, I, you know, I think he sucks on the air. I don't think he's ever been interesting, but. Yeah. You know, he always keeps, for some yeah. reason, he always keeps getting jobs and nobody watches, nobody listens, and then he gets another one. So good for him. He's doing something Sounds like right. Michael Smith. Yeah, I guess, who I think everyone says is a nice guy too. So, you know, I don't know. Good luck to him. I can't imagine 30 people are watching that at the time. And the Peacock Network, let me say. Horrific. As a, as a, as a father of a son who takes uh, Peacock very seriously and will be taking it seriously in a couple of weeks. Harry's all excited for the uh, Money in the Bank event coming Ooh. up. Unwatchable during these events. Yeah. Unwatchable. I just watched WrestleMania. I just bought it for that. That was it's it. It's terrible. Yeah. It's fucking terrible. It's not, I'm surprised. They'll, they'll probably do something different with that. It's so poorly run. Well, they only rented, essentially rented it for a couple of years. Yeah. So it wasn't like they bought the, 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 the library or the network or anything, right? They're just yeah. renting it. I think for, they're just, yeah. For a billion dollars. That's crazy. Vince you spend a billion dollars on something and you give them that shit service? Such a bad product. Oh, awful. Anyway. Do you want a couple more? Two sure. zero two? I'll take a few more. Hello, Kirk and Dave. This is Mini Fan Computer zero one eight two one. How are you? Uh, curious. How are you? Okay. 
Thank you, Kirk. I am programmed for two tasks. Number one, I know the actual intellectual rating of every Minifan ever. Okay. Or I can be your sex slave. What hmm. would you like? I do not judge. Uh, I'll go with option A. Okay. Please ask me the IQ of any Minifan. I can uh, tell you. Well, I'll consider them. I consider him a minute fan because I know he listens to the show. Mike Geary. Mike Geary is ranked 2,182 smartest mini fan. Hmm. Who's number one out of curiosity? Uh, that is obvious, don't you think? I don't. No, I don't. Really. I know who that is. Who? It's got to be John Stewart. Oh. I don't even know if he's a minute fan anymore. I never that is him. correct. Ah, ding, ding, ding. Bang, bang. Ding, ding, ding. Oh. David Cullinan is correct. You are now number two smartest mini fan. Thank you, David. <laughs> who is the Who is the dumbest mini fan? Uh, does not compute. But uh, name is Kevin from Bristol. Kevin <laughs> from Bristol. <laughs> Kevin from Bristol. All right, thank you, thank you, computer zero zero one, whatever your name is. All right. Six one seven. You're up. How's the other guy look, Dave? Which Which other guy? Oh, you mean the guy I almost beat the shit out of this morning? Yeah, yeah. He, he, you know what? It almost came. It almost came to blows, but we got through it. You know, people um, that would have been unbelievable. People think I'm a really angry guy. I'm really not. They um, do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, it was fine. It, well, we worked through it. Goes, we worked through it. Well, that goes along with my my next question: is that you you strike me as like a nihilist, and you know you don't believe in anything. So, is there anything you're really deeply morally opposed to it's a specific question so i can get an answer from you anything you're really really morally opposed to uh i would say everything that bill cosby did i am morally opposed to i treat women with respect that is what i am most morally opposed against but you're right i don't really give a shit about anything to be honest with you it keeps my right. head well, clear. I'm only asking because Steve was so against abortion, and that kind of stemmed from the you know how he would sure. cut people off. So you kind of got to go with something along those lines. Yeah, so maybe yeah. a sound of Cosby grunting or something like that. I yeah, don't we don't have to tie it back to Cosby. Yeah. I'll figure that out. That's yeah, I got to figure that out because I, I we probably could have canceled. What do you say? Ninety percent of the phone calls we've gotten since certainly we this one. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you later, buddy. All right. Goodbye. I'll take one or two more, Dave. We got uh, 781. You're up. Hey, Kirky. Huge fan. How's it going? It's going fine. Thank you. Hey, I, I think I got a show recommendation. I don't think I've heard it on the show. Uh, it's an Amazon Prime show called 000. Have you heard of it? I feel like I've seen that like when I'm flipping around. What it, it, maybe not, though. What is it? So it's, it's basically it, it's about the current cocaine trade. And it ties in the cartel, the American shipping industry, and the Italian mafia. Okay. So it's pretty cool. It's it's pretty interesting. Uh, very exciting. But I don't know. I thought you might think it was uh, uh, an interesting show. All right, so I'll, I'll give it a guy. shot. All right, thanks. I'm looking for a show. Thank well, you. What are you go. watching, Dave? Uh, I made a mistake. I've made many, but I made a mistake. We actually have one more pitch. <sighs> it is a mistake. It's a mistake. Okay. But those were Who so like it? to go back I to back. We had four. You told me four. Kirkin off. I Kirkin off. Who's that? I put that on the list. I forgot he was here. Who's here? I thought everything. Who is it? Augusta. Andrew Augustus. All right, talk, yeah, let's gonna, get him in. Get I'm him in here. Piss, I'll talk to him. I'm gonna take a piss. Okay. I'll be in a minute. Ugh. Did I snub you or what? I mean, it was a nice invite. I didn't want to push any limits. So I just came in. Yes, and I didn't get your text message because we were in here. So well, I, I mean, you were in the middle of fighting. Yes. so I get that. Yeah, sorry, it was a little, uh, it was a little back and forth. There. I am jealous a little bit of Rob though. Uh, for going first. I mean, not for going first. Is everybody but, still over there, by the way? Uh, there's, I think, two of the 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 average beyond average people are still there. Are and, still hanging out. And then the uh, the the other one, Discord guy. See, you're like in the mix regularly. Like yeah. you're you're in the so I kind of feel good about taking a pause. Is that all right? I apologize. That's I did fine. That Take the you. pause. Yeah, and I was rattled right from the get go with uh, <laughs> I don't know, almost getting the shit kicked out of me. You just wanted to give you some weed. Yeah, that's why I appreciate you texting me, but that's it was crazy. So, but uh, all right. So you're doing Kirk and off. You're gonna pitch that to Kirk. Kirk, Kirk has clearly listened to Kirk and off before, right? Yes. Justin, he knows what Kirk and off is, right? What? Kirk has listened to Kirk and off, right? Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, he doesn't so. like us because uh, what was it in December? Uh, Buddy had the thing with DEC. 
uh, buddy, what was the what was we, the thing? We with did this? a special sixty nine minutes episode where the three uh, guys on the show each did their own segments. Yep. Buddy decided it was a good idea to do DC for some reason, which and that pissed Kirk off. And that pissed Kirk off. All right, what are we doing? What yeah, is this? this? What is this? this? Is our guy Kirking <clears throat> off. Yep. yep. I've Andrew. listened to that. Yep. And so he is here to it's pitch, dreadful. and maybe he will help, and and we will get another. We've gotten one yes. One yes. We're going for two right now. It's okay. it's simple. It's a podcast where mm-hmm. my friend and his cousin. Talk about the going ons in the Kirk Minahan world. Yes. And let's the, face it's it. It's the Blind Mike guy, right? It's it, no. Isn't it Blind Mike's dad? Isn't he one of the guys? Oh, yeah. yeah. Blind Mike's daddy. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's kind of dead. You killed him on that one. Oh, he is. He, he's, he's like, you ever listen to this podcast, Dave? I do. I like these guys, though. I would, Blind oh, Mike's yeah, dad I is, like, is like, it's like, it's a word you can't use anymore. He had an unbelievable. Do you see his wedding video? Did you see that video? No. I, oh, you didn't see it? He shared <laughs> it. It went around. I, I didn't see it. Oh, it was And the other guy that, what's his name? Buddy. He's like, he's just like, yeah, like, you know, uh, uh, it's like, uh, I don't know. I'm not, but he just fucking mumbles the whole time. And this guy tries way too hard. The podcast sucks. He does like the news portion of the show. He's had people on who I hate. And yeah. they're like, oh, we, we like everybody. TJ Hubbard pussies. was on recently. I hate him. Okay. No, I don't, but you I was know. on last year. Oh, that's great. Okay. So, okay. Make your pitch. So, just for us, it's. Aren't you on with Justin once in a while? I am on Mondays. Mondays. So, how could I forget? Mondays. It's a very forgettable day. But what we do is we're a a unique fan base. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of people I've met here that I'd never run into normally. And that's what we do. We're all come together because we like you. We talk about why we like you. What does that have to do with Sako? Oh, Sako, just because it's fan engagement. It's all fan interaction. And we're so good at just being background noise. We were even forgotten here. So that's just exactly what you want. It's actually a fair point. So, we we, we check off all the boxes. Hmm. Yeah. What do you think, Dave? Well, I like him a lot. I think he shows initiative. It's a show that's... I kind of like the idea of having at least one show. Why would I lie about Hagel Harrington guy saying that to me? Uh, I don't know. I just think that's a remarkable score. I think you... Like, at that level, you're you're really good at that level. At mini golf? I, I've said this before. I'm one of the 50 best mini golfers in the world. So you clearly have to do something mini golf related on the show to prove I've, this. I've, 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 I've challenged all these guys at Barstool to do it. Nobody, everyone's ducking me. Nobody wants it. to do it. Well, what's his, who's the one who, you probably talked about that. Is it Frank who does the mini golf? He wants to do a mini golf contest against people? Yeah, he needs people? a card around the mini golf course. So it's yeah. true. I think he actually yeah. does. Oh, that's, yes. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, but yeah, yes. No, I, I, uh, yeah. I trust you. You make a compelling argument. Yeah, well, yeah, thank yeah, you. All right. So what, what, what'd you say? No, I'm just saying you wanted to call your brother. It would have proved. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. Um, all right, so you and 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 by Mike's dad and Buddy and Buddy want to do the show from soccer. Yeah, we'll do a show and we'll have a guest on. Who are you gonna have on? Well, that's we're gonna we want we have ideas, but we want to keep well, it I'm, a big name. Like who? I don't know. I guess the one we threw out last night was Steve from Providence, which isn't a big name. How's that a big name? It's a, a, a fucking a, an loser. OG Minna fan. Like we we try to get the OGs with the Min cells. We try to bring everyone in. Okay, that's your idea. Of, that's your pitch of Steve from Providence. I mean, that's just a start point. I mean, we could it go. Sure bigger. is. Like I mean, who? I mean, I could. We could bring in Tim again and do another prank phone call segment, like we always. Your do. idea of a big name is Steve from Providence or Tim and Canton? Minna fan big names that we can actually. That's going to be there unless we can go. You know what? If I can go drive down to New York and pick up Big Cat, that'd be great. But yeah, he's not going to. You're not going to go in a car with me. That's true. Don't count it out. That, that'd be a worthwhile venture, though. I think you should consider that. Definitely, <laughs> yeah. definitely, definitely. All right, so his pitch is he wants to do a show with Steve from Providence. Yeah, that's a tough pitch. That's a, that's and a I'm hard, a big Steve from Providence That's a hard guy. pitch. That's tough, yeah. All right, I'll consider it. I, put yeah. him on the maybe list. Okay. The, the, right. uh, sorry that Dave kept you waiting. Is he, yeah, that's a don- yeah, I, was, I kind of thought there was going to be some collaboration through this process, but it's all right. It's all right. What's on you? It is on me. All right. Yeah, thank yeah, you, yeah. Andrew. Is he on my, is he coming to lunch with me too? Are you forcing yes, that? Yep, okay. Yep, he's going right. to lunch with you Great. Too. Great. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. All right. You know, it was pretty funny speaking. We, I, well, I didn't ask you to get the sound, but uh, Tim and Canton was on that uh, show with Justin the other night. Yes. And he fucking, for some reason, hates Trenny. Went on this crazy rant. Did you hear this? No. Oh my God. Calling her every word in the book. Why? Tim and Ken? Yes. Why does he hate Trent? I don't so even much? know. She was great with you guys. Like I know, I know it went downhill, yeah, but she was fine. she yeah. was. Yeah. She's fine in the air with us. I mean, she's no loyalty. But I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he, he hates her for like, probably political reasons, I'm guessing. I don't know. But I mean it was brutal. Well brutal. Well, mm-hmm. And you want to take a couple more or no? Yeah, we'll take a few more. All right. Six one up. Oh. Wait for that. People, big world guy. Oh, hey, what's up? Good. I want to thank you first off for offering me two hours at Saco to uh, premiere the uh, season finale. Hey, if you want to do, if you want to do a live, if you you are in for a live Saco, Little People, Big World, I would do it with you because I, I am August twenty eighth, and you and I have to go to, to to roll off farms and participate in this wedding. 
out there now. We could maybe make it a long weekend. Absolutely. It's interesting that, you know, I know I'm, it's, it's, it's watching the, the dynamic of Chris and Matt being like the buddies and Amy being all pissed off about it is incredible television. Incredible. It very, I, I really thought for a second that Chris was going to cry when he asked if he could avoid her. And he's <laughs> like, we'll no. talk about it. He, like, he was expecting that. Yeah, like, he's my best man, and he didn't want to tell her. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's such, like, reality TV. Like, you know they're getting married at Roloff Farms. Like, they're doing this whole pretend thing all year. But, but like, how you could see when Amy was bitching at the start of the episode, Chris fucking hates her now. Yeah, I agree. I don't I don't see it lasting very long. I know that's a Kirk Minahan thing with relationships. He gives it like seven seven months or so. I don't three see years. It I'll give it Who three knows? three years, I would say. Three years. And I don't I'll be honest, I just don't care at all about anything else. I don't care about Zach and Tori and their kids. I don't fucking care about them. I want Amy, Chris, Matt, yeah, I'm fine. If you gotta throw Karen in the mix, that's fine. I don't need anything else right now. Nothing else. Uh, Karen's kind of becoming my favorite character because she's she's this like awesome step in grandmother that's always spending time with the kids now. So it's just like, I, it's just funny. It's, it's true. You can tell in this role. You, you know, like, it, never had. it never crosses uh, Zach's mind. Like, oh, let's have mom and Chris watch the kids. Like they're not, they're out. Like what? If you watch it, the, if you look at the history of Little People, Big World, I find it actually a fascinating uh, document on relationships between parents and kids. Because for years, early on, Zach thought that Matt Roloff was the evil one and Amy was like the good person because Amy always put that in his head. But as he gets older, he understands, no, 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 my mom's a fucking lunatic. My dad's actually all right. Matt, and it's funny, I have a feeling that it's going to play out the same exact way with his son. I know you're not big on them, but I have a feeling that, that mom's just going to ruin that kid. Oh, Tori? Yeah, she's going to ruin uh, Jake or... <laughs> whatever they call him, Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, they, well, they got two. Yeah, and I mean, I we broke the news already. They're like talking about their next kid, and we already know what's going to happen. It's brutal. Every time they talk about it, I'm like, oh, I got oh, a shit. sick we... feeling in my stomach because we know we know it doesn't end up well. So no, it's, it's rough. Selfish. The next couple of weeks are going to be rough. But yeah, but I'm looking forward to, uh, I, I mean, the wedding's going to be unbelievable. Chris's bachelor party, you know, now that Chris is finally out of his swinging singles pad and he's got to settle down after all those years of, you know, pounded pussy, so we know he's a real man, he's going to, you know, he's going to have his, his bachelor party's going to be insane. You know, it's like Colleen's for Pat, right? It was an insane, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be an insane scene. Emergency rooms, everything. Hopefully that happens on the show. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Thanks all right. for the call, guy. All right. Are you a fan of that show or no? No, but I like a lot of other reality shows. I'm sure you do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right, right, we'll take one more. All right. Although I like little people, big world guy. Nine seven eight. All aboard. Wow. Hey, hey guys. Hey. Wow. Ta What's ta up? Talking about, um, I have a quick question about fireworks, but talking about 24, talking about TV shows, right? Hulu, 24 is on. Kirk, were you a 24 guy? Or not, not? not really. Hit or miss for me. God, it was too much after a while. Yeah. yeah. The thing I love about it on Hulu is it's like, these commercial breaks are like six, seven minutes long. It's like, it's got the counter on it. It's oh, like I know. It's crazy. 23 minutes. Yeah. And then it comes back and it's like 30 minutes. And I'm sitting here like, you dumb. I can't do oh, yeah, yeah. Goodbye, goodbye. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry we missed yeah. this question about well, fireworks. I like 24. 24 is a good show. It was yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't be cheap. Pay for the one without ads then, right? Yeah, you can do that, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Do you have without ads? Uh, do I have what? Hulu without ads? Uh, yes, I believe Look so. Look at you. Yeah. 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 I have a lot of those. I'm, yeah. But I canceled cable. So. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. So I've got Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, yep. Peacock. Disney Plus. Disney Plus. And, well, Apple TV, right? I don't do Apple TV, but, yeah. So, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. yeah. Waste. <laughs> and still cable, which I fucking never watch. Yeah, you don't need cable anymore. I don't, but I'm yeah. old, so yeah. I like to have it. Yeah. All right, last one. All right. We got, let's see, 781. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Still morning. Yes, it is. Good morning. Okay. Yes, it is. Quick question for you, Kirk, okay? I, I won't take up too much of your precious time. Thank you. Here is my question. Okay. Now, was it Dr. Dan, the crazy dentist? Yes. Okay. Now, you went through this traumatic thing as a kid. Mm -hmm. Okay. And your parents, of course, because he was such a great actor, you know, making it out like he was wonderful. At what point in your life, as you got older, did you ever tell your parents what happened? 
because you didn't really talk about that. We you just talked about how as a kid they believed, you know, they believed Dr. Dan was great and you were just being dramatic. Right. Well, you even as, yeah, well, well, yeah, well, even as, even as, like, even as we got older, like my brothers and I would kind of joke about it with my mom and my dad in a way, like he put uh-huh. us through this and they never really understood. I don't think we did a great job of under- explaining it. And I don't think they really understood uh, uh, how crazy it was. I mean, obviously they never will, but it, we, it was, yeah, right. it was, it, we never, I don't think articulated properly. I think they knew my mom specifically knew that we all thought the guy was a terror. And, you know, she would then occasionally hear stories from other parents who said, Oh yeah, my kids said the same thing. So uh, they were definitely aware of it. Oh, okay. All yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Have an awesome day. We'll see you. I'm sure I will. There you go. There you go, Dave. All right. Any big uh, 4th of July plans? No. How no. about you? Nope. None so The weather's supposed to suck anyway, right? Yeah, it's going to be shitty. Yeah. And we're off for a week? Off for a week. We're, Justin and I have been talking through some content for the YouTube, so we'll see. Like what? Oh, just some little content ideas, like wrap-up shows and stuff like that. Wrap-up shows for what? We don't have any shows. Well, like wrap-up this week, the first week of Colony and like moments or whatever. Just little things for YouTube. Okay, doesn't have to be fine. crazy. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, and then we're back for we're back and we're back after that. Yes, like, this has got to remind people of Sako. Last chance. New last chance. Yep. You got twenty two minutes yep. before the Sako is done, uh, and that's what about two months? No, less than two months from now. Jesus Christ! And then the Wilbur, and then all that stuff. Uh, so we have one of the four cemented. Yes, that's it. A couple of maybes, a couple of no's. So, you know, we made some progress, not yeah. a lot. What's right? your what's your vision? Just like at the same venue, it's we're just going to put a different stage, right? They can't be where you're going to broadcast. No, God, I'm not no. letting them use your no, mic. No, no, no. Same no, board. Yeah, no. Okay. God, no. Right, Jesus, cool. no, yeah. no. No, 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 right. no, 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 no. I mean, I won't be there till later, but. Yeah, I do like the fan engagement guy. I think Rob would be good at that. I think that, you know, organizing fan events is a classic. There's people move. who want to just go there and have a couple of beers and eat some hot dogs and just hang out. Which is fine. They can do that. Yeah, but they don't need Rob like fucking bothering them so go to the side go somewhere else you're fine yeah you, get you plenty aren't there of space. it's like a fairly big event i mean it's not you know like what's wrong with you going from car to car uh no i just mean like just organ like he's gonna have his space or events and everyone can congregate in other places that's all all right we'll see and i will uh justin's gonna send an email to eric and i as well i'll talk to her so i think we'll have the justin answer when we get back we'll probably know for sure if he's full-time or not and if he's not full-time it sounds like he's threatening to leave right no you're not threatening to leave are you justin you're not. The, if you don't get full time, you're not threatening to leave, are you? I, I'm never going to leave. Until he's never going to leave. So he's never going to leave. So now he has leverage. leverage. Love leverage. Yep. Leverage just follow me throughout my career. That yes. word. So, <clears throat> but well, yeah, we'd like to make something happen. Justin's doing a great job. Colin's first week is done, uh, and he lasted. He survived. Yep. More than forty eight hours. Way more than forty eight hours. Um. Okay. So yeah. So thanks to all our advertisers this week. Ryan Minahan never got back to you, huh? No, I don't think so. I don't think he texted me. He's traveling. He might be in a weird spot. Yeah. So uh, uh, and thanks to all the podcasters who came in. Um, and we'll see how that goes. I'm sure we'll we'll have four podcasts up there. Not the people are gonna care that much of the live show, but they'll care. So go give their podcast a chance. I'm sure we'll tweet that as well. And uh, have a good holiday.